really warm. And, uh, and, and this afternoon, we are going to spend this afternoon together and we have about three and a half uh, hours. And this afternoon is really 100% uh, for you. And um, uh, we are really going to focus on your development, both as a team and as a person. And um, uh, Joanna, maybe you wonder how my journey with this yes. began. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you this then. <laughs> thanks, and, uh, or should, or should we introduce ourselves first? Oh, we yes, are? maybe. Yes, maybe, maybe. maybe. Joanna, who yeah. are you? So I am a, a Swedish, <laughs> uh, Swedish American uh, executive coach, uh, and I'm a returning Swede. So I was born and raised here, but I spent most of my adult life in the U.S. And so, so for me, always like, oh, we get to do a workshop in my, in my, in my other language. Yes. Yeah, I love it. So, so I got the great, great fortune mm. to work with Lisa today, mm. and uh, yeah, that's it. So I'm an executive coach. I work towards mostly internationally in the U.S., but also in Sweden with C-suite and startup founders and uh, leaders, mm. leadership development. Mm. That's me. So when I got this opportunity, when I met Frida and I met uh, Stefan, I thought to myself, could I bring in a bonus here for this afternoon? And then I called Johanna and also that she can help me with, with the English because I don't think that I'm so good at it. Mm -hmm. But then Frida told me, she told me, Lisa, don't think so much about it. Think about it as an accent. <laughs> and you know, we're going to talk about personality types today and you, probably can guess what kind of color I am, who then thought that you can think about it as an accent. What a great idea. <laughs> then I will say yes uh, at once, because that's quite typical for my, uh, for my color. Uh, so it's very nice to be here. And I think also that uh, some of you have met my former colleague, Karin Friedlund. Mm -hmm. Have you met her? Uh, yes, yes, yes. So just congratulations to to that you have sort of taken Karin from from us from yeah. from my uh, company. Uh, and today we're going to spend this afternoon uh, focusing on the on the disc. And for me, originally, uh, I studied in Uppsala at Uppsala University, and I studied a university line called the P line. Linjen för personal och arbetslivsfrågor. Uh, maybe some of you know someone yeah. who has studied this uh, sort of per personal behavior science uh, at university. Uh, then you can ask them if they instead wanted to become a psychologist. Because we who didn't have the grades to go through the psychology <laughs> program, we ended up at this P-line. Yeah. <laughs> so there were a bunch of us, uh, but there my interest of behavior really, really started. Um, how can we adapt our behavior to sort of meet another person in a really, in a really good way? And what happens when that doesn't uh, match? For me, I started up uh, at um, a company called Profis. Uh, nowadays, it's uh, Ramstad. It's a staffing and recruitment uh, company. And they are also, and I work as a salesperson, and I really notice the importance of being able to adapt your communication when you meet the customer. Or if you work inside a company, to work together uh, in a really good way, or if you have to deal with suppliers. For 10 years now, I've been building a recruitment company and a sales training and leadership training uh, company. Uh, and here uh, I have used DISC uh, for group development. And you know, DISC uh, is not a tool for selection. Um, it's a tool for group development and team development. So we really want to emphasize mm -hmm. that's how we look upon this tool. And before we get going, oh, I'm so curious, how many of you have done this DISC profile before? Uh, four of you, and, and for you, uh, you other, have you done other kind of uh, DISC profiles or Myers Bricks or, you know, there are different names? No. It's, is, yes, it, is it the first time? 
for you. And for you, yeah. Yes, yes, also. I have not done anything something like this. Yeah, I have okay. not even done something okay. like this. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm fine with bricks. And yeah, done mine. Little mine. red ones, but yeah. it's not called a disc. Mm. Different ones. Okay, okay. And and for how many years ago was it that uh, you did disc? Uh, disc was like five years ago. Five years ago, yes. And Stefan, you said... I was, uh, I was like 2017. <laughs> <laughs> 2017, yes. Yeah. Okay. I did this disc two, three years ago, and my break probably I was 15, 20 years ago. Okay, okay. Good, because then it will be nowadays, now when you will look at your results today, and I know that now you all sit and think, just give me this profile, I want to look at the profile. And, uh, oh, yeah, they got the one. Do we need it though? Can come up with? Ah. Now we get the table. That's All right. Where do you want it? We can we can just put just put it uh, we can put it uh, here. Oh, oops. Surprise! 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 Jag tror det räcker med att jag tror det. Ska vi ta ett Ja, just det. Nej, men precis. Okej, sorry. 1.41, 1.43. Yes, but today we, we will first start off with some theory and then you will get your profile. And I know that often, you know, the feeling is just give me the profile direct. I really want to look at it. Uh, but we, you will get it in about one and a half hour and then we will really work with it. So you can just sit and relax and we will go through some th theory and examples. Uh, yes, but first of all, I think that we are a little bit, we want to know some more about you. So please, Joanna, can you guide us through the next exercise? Yes. yes. So we, we're going to do introductions. But we're going to do it a bit differently based on uh, what we're doing today. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to take five minutes to introduce ourselves. Uh, but you're going to introduce ourselves uh, yourselves a bit differently. Uh, so we, we're going to pair you up, right? So, so two, two. So so you you have to do a group of three, um, and because you're going to we're going to split you off into a little discussion group, but. You're going to introduce yourself to everybody based on your strength. So you're going to introduce yourself, you know, so and so, I'm Frida, and I say that this is my top strength. Uh, and the reason we're doing this, it's actually an exercise in self-awareness, because one of the things that mm -hmm. we're going to deal with in, 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 in looking at your DISC profile is how you think you are versus how others perceive you or see you. So uh, people might agree with you, and they might not. But um, so first, you're going to introduce yourself, and then after everybody has done that, we're going to pair you up, and you're going to get a couple of minutes each to actually get reflected back what, how they see you. Yeah. So you said yours, but they, but the other person will go, "Well, I actually think you're good at that." However. And then you get to discuss, and then you switch, and I'll time you because people get going, and then they don't want to stop. Right? <laughs> Depending on what color you are, <laughs> you know. Um, so I'll time you and tell you when to switch. So everybody got the idea. But if, if I think Lee says, "Oh, I'm, I know, mm -hmm. fun," and yeah. I'm like, "Yeah, I also think you're fun." <laughs> yeah. But you, you you can then say, "But I do." You, we're also looking for like a top are. strength, like like yeah. um, I see you as this. I see you, you know, as being able to handle a million things at once. Mm -hmm. So you, you're kind of more looking at what the dominant strength mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. I'm more looking for if, if I think you have spot on. That's yes. Exactly yes. What I exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. the top strength yeah. that you perceive. Okay. So yeah. it's the, the top uh, strength you perceive in yourself, and it's the top strength you mm -hmm. think that she has. Okay. And if you think that you have time over, you can always ask, in what way do you find me? Can you give an example? What do you see? Because when we talk about 
uh, like how, how we are. It's not our inner thoughts because, you know, we can think about that I'm a, a kind person, I feel energetic, uh, I'm a person who really listens to other people, but maybe my how I behave, maybe that sometimes shows something else. You know, when we are 100% true to ourselves and or people rely upon us that's when the words we say is aligned with how we say it and what we say it's all together and sometimes we can think thoughts and we can think but we don't show what we think and then people try to guess what are we thinking and they do that by looking at how we how we act uh, and and it's always interesting to calibrate what I think about myself, is that what other people see? Because sometimes I need to show something more of my behavior. And sometimes I need to, you know, like a switch, take it down a little bit or show more. That's a little bit different. Be and we will see that in our profiles uh, as well. Mm. But, yes. I'm a bit confused. Yes. <laughs> it's not unusual. <laughs> If I say I think my strength is this, uh -huh. yes. that is what the other part should reflect on, not how I am perceived out of that I express myself in an, I mean, they give feedback on the strength I think I have. If you, for no. example, say, like if, if yeah. uh, for example, we can do an example here, yeah. uh, Joanna, can yeah. you please tell me what you think that your uh, superpower is, your strength? Uh, I think my uh, visionary. Visionary. Yeah. And can you maybe describe in, in what way uh, you can feel that you have this uh, power, this strength? Can mm -hmm. you describe that to me? Sure. Yes. So I told you this. When I meet a person, uh, I, I immediately see what is possible, what they can do with themselves or their company. And I already see like world dominion immediately. Yeah. Like yeah. Uh, it's just, uh, it's automatic. Mm. Mm. Um, and um, and of course you could talk more about it and so on and 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 if you ask me mm -hmm. uh, Joanna what yeah. I see uh, yeah. when we work together that yeah. your strength is yeah. what I also can see you have this ability to be visionary mm. but you also very organized mm. and very goal oriented and yeah. I can really see that with, if we set up a schedule yeah. you will not miss a detail. You are so good at focusing on details mm. and also have like the whole picture. And you see that example, often we have like a picture of mm. ourselves, mm. but other people also perceive other sides mm. of us. And it's quite nice to sort of calibrate mm. what I feel mm. is that what other people see. Mm. And quite common, I know when I did this at the P line, we mm. who it wasn't, you know, the psychologist, we this, uh, did this kind of uh, uh, thing. And, and for me, uh, I thought then that I was a little bit absent minded, that I forgot things. And I got the feedback from my, um, from my uh, friends there that Lisa, you will never miss a deadline. You always deliver on time. You know, sometimes you don't see exactly the same things in yourself that other people see. And that's quite interesting. Mm -hmm. And also sometimes, you know, it can be quite interesting. What do other people see? And of course, if you would do this thing with all of you, you will sit with every person, you will probably get a lot of pieces to put together because different people would see different things in you as a person. And then we can start, you know, to build this puzzle. What do we need to show more in meeting with a certain person to get the picture of ourselves that we want other to see? I don't know if you ever have felt that, that you, you maybe <coughs> go into a meeting and maybe you don't always land in exactly the way you want to land in. I don't know if land in is the right word, but that you, that you, you really um, get yourself presented in the way that you want to be presented. Uh, and that depends on the audience. And if we are really good you know, to feel that and see how can I be to meet you in the way that you want me to meet you.
so that we can communicate in a really nice way. Mm. Yeah, yes. and, so, and so the purpose of the exercise is to really foster an understanding between you uh, and, and, and a good group dynamic between us. Um, so we're ready to begin? Yes, and I would just yeah. ask. Yeah. If we uh, sort of then match into uh, groups, mm -hmm. it's always nice to work more in groups with people that you don't work as often together with. Mm -hmm. And here I need your help. Yeah. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. But first we'll do introductions. Yes. I'm the... Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the... I'm the... I'm the... I'm the... Uh, okay, but okay. why don't you start, Frida, by introducing yourself and your what you perceive being your strength. superpower, your yes. top yes. strength. Yeah. I would say my strength is my energy. Uh, I have a lot of, yeah, when I get into a room or when I see people, I always say, oh, you have so much energy, Frida. What, what else you come from? Uh, yes. And I think that's a superpower. But it's also be that, up, up, the other side around. If I don't have that energy, I think. People say, what's wrong with you? Yes, yes. Ah, yeah. okay. Great. Mm. Yeah? Yeah, quite similar. I think energy also. Energy. And your, yeah. and your name was? Liv. 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 Ah. Mm? Liv. Energy, energy. Yeah? Katarina, um, I like to think that I like to, <coughs> like a problem solver. Mm? Like, uh, I like to get things move, mm. moving forward. Mm. Mm -hmm. Lots of stories. Yeah. Lots of stories. Okay, great. Great. You're looking very skeptical. <laughs> 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 I'm just looking with fear in the <laughs> Yeah, I think that uh, I'm very strong in the mind. Mm. Yeah. 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 So, what is my superpower? I think that my, my superpower is uh, that uh, if, if I look what I'm uh, responsible for, mm -hmm. I am um, good enough in all the disciplines to have a discussion with all of you, but I'm not the expert in any of the disciplines. So, uh, you know, in a way, uh, then being able to to uh, to keep the totality. Mm. I think that would be my mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. wonderful. Mm -hmm. I get things done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Leonardo, right? Yes, so Leonardo. Leonardo. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. he gets things done. Yes, yes. good. Uh, Christiana, so Christiana. I think uh, a, a fast thinker. So when yes. someone explains me something, I mm -hmm. can catch the mm -hmm. big picture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I'm. Um, my, my name is Corian, by yes. the way. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that my superpower might be that. I'm really into uh, improvements and mm -hmm. like pro uh, problem solver. Yes. Solver. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. Mm -hmm. Great. All right. Mm -hmm. So this is what you all think is your superpower and wherever you kind of feel confident and it comes naturally mm -hmm. and you use it a lot, mm -hmm. I would assume. So now, uh, do you want to uh, pair people up? Yeah. Who should they sit with? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, uh, we to time So now we three. English. English. Of course. I just did that, didn't I? I switched. Um, so we're going to get three minutes each. And I'm going to give you a 30 second warning. So we give you a little bit more, three yeah. minutes each, mm -hmm. and then you switch, yeah? Mm -hmm. So now you can start. Here you go. <laughs> 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 What was it, yeah, the takeaway? Just a short, you know, reflection on what, what was it? Did you, did you agree? Were you surprised by what you heard? Like, wow, I don't know that I, that's a superpower or, oh, we touchingly agree. So 
Who would like to start to share? What was that like? What's your ta main takeaway? Who would like to go? <laughs> I, I think yeah. that, 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 that we should start with the couple that finished first. Exactly. Then we would get the opportunity. Yes. 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 An agreement. Oh, <laughs> in, in, in the end, I mean, we, we, we got confirmation from each other that ah. the, the, the power, so our main, main capabilities yes. are working. Mm -hmm. And then we, I think we agreed also on the effects of them. Oh. And we also mm -hmm. agreed upon how maybe we are perceived sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Differently? Mm -hmm. No, I no, know we, we, are, we, we, we know how we are perceived. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I've been around enough. Been around. Yeah. Around enough time but but, but um, were you perceived like uh, how the strength is perceived, or that people perceive your strength? The, the, uh, uh, both how the strength is perceived mm -hmm. uh, on both parties, mm -hmm. and also out of how it, how you can come true. Mm -hmm. when you are driving your, your path. Gotcha, mm -hmm. gotcha, yeah, gotcha. so then yeah. we're not always making friends. Oh, I see. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Because we are in finance. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because if, if you want to, when you're into change management, right. everybody's liking it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But so, you yeah. have the things done. Mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. right. And you have to have a lot of discussion and convince mm -hmm. people to mm -hmm. do certain things mm -hmm. that they don't want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it needs a lot of energy <laughs> and uh, to convince uh, mm -hmm. people. But on the other side, of course, these people logically don't want what you want. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you are in a constant discussion mm -hmm. with them. Mm -hmm. so you, you, you're the bearers of the inconvenient truth. Yes, but not only. Really, no, I mean it's not that black and white. But, but, but it's mm -hmm. a combination. You need to, to get people to swallow it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. and that's uh, the same because at the end yeah. they yeah. seem you are like tough or annoying because you still persist that they should change. Mm -hmm. And in this, I think it's that you have to overcome to take it personally mm -hmm. because it's your function and that's yes. what you represent. Mm -hmm. So, and mm -hmm. I think that's uh, is a challenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because if not, you would probably be crying all the day in the corner. <laughs> <Right>. so, <laughs> everybody tells me every day, so I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, uh, Johanna, that's an interesting part because we're going to look, you know, at your profiles. You're going to see what's your sort of basic behavior and what kind of behavior you adapt to. What you adapt to is often what you need to do more or less of when you open a door to do your work. Uh, and that's quite interesting to reflect upon. What do you need to do more or less? What do you sort of, and, and that is also like an, an, an emotion in one way. Does it take energy? Um, can I look at someone else who, who that person tackle this kind of uh, task? Because of course, if you need to drive through uh, tough things, uh, for some people that will come easier and for other people it will take more energy and of course it's a job we need to do it but it's also it can be perceived and it's also what kind of attitude can you have towards the task and sometimes it's quite good just to sort of think what would Johanna think about how could she handle it how would she think about it sometimes we can help each other just by you know changing mm. Uh, to, 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 you can reach out a hand and help each other with that. Um, because so one thing that might take no energy from one person will take a lot of energy from the other person. And of course it's just a job, but we can use it, each other as a team. And so then we don't, we, we don't have to be able to handle everything. <laughs> we, can, we can help each other. Mm -hmm. But this is very interesting what mm. you say about getting energy from mm. each other. I mean, yes. this is a, a very, you know, <coughs> lively discussion that we have now in yes. terms of bringing people back to the office. Mm. Mm. Because how how should you get energy from someone else when they're sitting on the other side of, mm. the, of, mm. the, of the screen? I think that's... Mm. Uh, that's mm. uh, so uh, it's also this dynamic in certain things you can only create if you actually meet face-to-face yeah. -face on certain yeah. things you mm. cannot really create in a digital world. Or what do you think on that? Well, it, that's a very interesting topic. And now I see that you start to, yes. because Jana is very digital. You work towards uh, the yeah, stakes uh, yeah. and on YouTube and you do everything, a lot of things digital. Mm -hmm. Most of it. Most yeah. of it. But uh, an interesting thing, yeah. I went to a customer meeting yesterday. It was like... Uh, 
first customer meeting at this mm -hmm. customer. We met for the first time. And when we meet for the first time, we don't know each other. It's quite often that you have, you know, the guard is, mm -hmm. is up mm -hmm. because I'm on the sell side, the, the customer is on the might buy side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you need, you, you're going to try to know each other. And, and often when we meet at the first time, we need to put in some more energy to get to know each other. Mm -hmm. And often the digital world is amazingly mm -hmm. very good. But if you have the possibility to build relationships, mm -hmm. of course, it's very good to see each other in a sort of three dimensional. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, this, this is almost like its own workshop. I've actually, uh, I've actually trained people in how to achieve you know, remotely and online yeah. what you would in person because the truth is not everybody is coming back and, and a lot of people have remote teams mm. already established them. So there is a way to do it. Yeah. Simple but not easy. Mm. I, it yeah. would be my short answer. But we can mm. talk Tanya. <laughs> <laughs> so we can talk about it during the break. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Stefan, did you also want to reflect your main takeaway from this uh, exercise? What uh, mm. Katarina what she perceived about you? Absolutely, I think that... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, we, we were also in agreement. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, that's, that, that's probably the reason why you have the job that you have. So, so, right. <laughs> you need to be a little bit a jack of all trades, yeah. right? So, yeah. so it's, it's uh, um, sometimes that is a benefit and sometimes mm -hmm. it is a curse mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. because you really feel that, that you... you uh, <laughs> Yeah, you you are never able to uh, to step down, uh, mm -hmm. and, and and then um, but then reflecting a little bit what type of leader style I have, uh, which we talked about before, that mm -hmm. I'm not a micromanager, and, and uh, then we we'll reflected on some other people in our uh, group leadership that are maybe uh, you know. Uh, even one step above me, uh, mm -hmm. who is, uh, but then also very often get into the expert role. Mm -hmm. uh, and and, and uh, that, that is an interesting dynamic. That, uh, I mean, you said, I mean, that's also a way of paralyzing people. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, <laughs> people. So it's, uh, now I think we, uh, but then on the other hand, it's also about being authentic and, and, and being really connected mm -hmm. to the, organization and the business that you are running and it's in this case also a lot about passion mm -hmm. it's, it's uh, that uh, you know you can't really do a, a job like this if you are not passionate one one way or the other i mean passionate about the journey or mm -hmm. passionate about the company or passionate about mm -hmm. meeting your colleagues or passionate of working in a truly international setting or whatever it is but, uh, but i mean it is uh, we are all the people in this room is investing a lot in the job. Mm. Uh, many hours and many, mm. you know, mm. I don't know what you measure <laughs> brain <laughs> capacity in, but uh, you, you're, 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 you're putting in. Uh, right. Mm. Yeah. So, and, 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 and Katarina, how about, did, did you also get reflected back what your superpower? Yes. Yeah. Um, I think, I think you understand that, like you said, I don't like to kid you stuff, mm. like, no. yeah, yes. which is a word where you, you just you just speak and you you really don't have the knowledge and you're just guessing. It's like called and guy, the way guy that guessing. is indicated guy. is typically a male behavior. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they have ah, a man guessing, right? It's a man guessing. Uh, Discrimination. I'm sure you don't believe I'm writing down. Uh, <laughs> no, but I mean, I, I really don't like to talk about things I don't feel like I have the knowledge of. Gotcha. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And uh, so you're with like, fact-based and yes, rational, very, yeah, yeah, yeah mm. logical. Mm. Yeah. Which is how I. That's how I like to base my when I make when I make the decisions. I want to move things forward. I still want to have the facts there. Yeah. Mm. So it's not just you know making making the decision just to make the decision to move on. Right. It still has to be the right decision. Mm. Mm. Yeah. But in, in your case, you're also going uh, outside your just your your work uh, situation because if you uh, if you start to talk to, to you about, for example, the U.S. election or something like that, then then you really notice that you are very very informed about uh, you know the system how it works and and, and uh, what has happened and, uh, 
and so on. So it's, uh, mm. it's no use to be here, so I'm just here to go through. I have one yeah. topic that I <laughs> maybe not the US election, that was not yeah, good. Maybe. Oh. Or maybe Donald Trump. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Over here. Yeah. Lisa? Mm -hmm. Of myself or how I I, I think we were in agreement. Yeah, we were in agreement. Mm -hmm. so, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Say more. Um about <laughs> strength, I think, uh, we have not been uh, working together. So what was the strength? Like, give it, give us my, it. Yeah, your strength. strength? That, uh -huh. Yeah. Um, change management. Yeah, change management, mm -hmm. uh, continuous improvement mm -hmm. and engagement from, mm -hmm. um, yeah, the team that I'm mm -hmm. working with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I think that you, since we haven't been working so mm -hmm. long, I mean, but you could perceive that that is yeah. probably the way I am. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah I think so. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Keen on, uh, yeah, keen on changing, things changing, things improving things. things in the company. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. And what about uh, leave? Like yeah, we were talking about energy. Yeah, mm -hmm. giving energy into like the more closer, more projects. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, lofty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great. That's good. Uh, yeah, but I can just add that I mean, uh, you is giving a lot of mm -hmm. energy, mm -hmm. and I think that uh, if since she's always doing that, mm -hmm. I think it also gets. If we all can do that, mm -hmm. then we can also. Uh, Smith all of us, mm -hmm. what do you call it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's spread it. Spread it. Spread it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice. It's okay. Oh, mm -hmm. it's good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so, um, so in a group setting, we're we're looking today at how your actions and demeanor might be perceived by others. And mm -hmm. in this group, it really seems like it's it's commensurate to to, to what you think and what they think. Sorry, I said, we didn't get to you. No, that's okay. Are you sure? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it really is also, um, you know, how, how to get the most out of your own performance and the performance of the other people. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that we go to the right people for the right things, right? Mm -hmm. Because we can get irritated that this, oh, I wish this person was more mm -hmm. this or that way, mm -hmm. to, to realize, well, they're not. <laughs> they're that way. And it's not perfect. If I really want to know the real deal, the facts, guess what? I go to Katarina. You know, no, she's not like, ah, let's wing it. You know, I hope for the best. Like, or let's just go and we'll deal with it late. Like, if I want that, mm -hmm. I'm not going to go to her. Like, do you see? Like, instead of trying to, it's kind of like being married. Like, mm -hmm. instead of trying to change your husband, like, mm -hmm. you know, love the one you're with. Like, this is, this is. But for you personally, it's also good to know that you, you're you not going to abandon your own values by modulating your behavior in certain situations for the sake of the group. Mm. Mm. Yes. Yeah. But, but I mean, my, my experience from doing exactly this analysis mm. in my previous company is really that to understand how the different types or different colors mm. all work in different situations, mm. it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to change yourself. It's just that, you know, uh, many on the other side understand Mm -hmm. much more clear how, right. how mm. these persons work. You know, right. I had an extremely live example on, you know, where a blue person and maybe a red person, uh, <coughs> you know, how, how we actually managed to get along really well uh, after mm. we had, had we could sit down and, and work with our different sides. And before that, we were, oh, mm -hmm. you know, I was not feeling, you know, so hunky dory and she didn't clean back the room. So, 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 so. But uh, right. after that, it actually uh, developed to yeah. a, a really, really trustworthy, uh, you know, uh, relationship at mm. work, and, you know, mm. and, uh, and we could work really well together. Mm. So, so. The best thing is if you don't have to change too much, right? I don't know. 
Yes, and we will, we're will. we going to dig into it and look a little bit more uh, on this. So mm -hmm. I think that we are going to, um, is it okay if we move on for a little bit more and then maybe take five minutes? Mm -hmm. So just raise your hand if you think that now we need, you know, five, five minutes to take some more coffee and so on. Um, so we will move uh, forward here and what we're going to today, this, uh, this afternoon, we're going to look at some theory of this and we're going to dig into what's the characteristics of the four different behavior styles. Uh, you, are, you will guess your profile uh, because what this workshop is, um, is about is about self-reflection and think about how are you perceived uh, by others. And you are going to get your profiles and you will uh, will have, uh, you are going to read, read a little bit and you will have it all, uh, both that we will email it to you and you will have it in, in paper uh, also. And we're also going to look upon you <laughs> so that you have something to read tonight here. Um, also going to look at the team's uh, profile and see uh, what, what, what categories are you in the group? How can you work together? How can you sort of get the best of this team um, going? Because this is what it's all about to, to really find it a good way to work, work together. Mm -hmm. And a little sort of theory about, uh, about, uh, about this. Um, one second. Um, it was this guy, Moulton Marston, who is the man behind DISC. And sometimes you hear DISC, sometimes you, hear, you can hear DISA. And it's, uh, it, it stands for Dominance, Influence, Stability and Compliance. And if we just see what it's all based on, because sometimes that can be interesting to know. Uh, it was Walter Morrison, he looked at, um, at Jung, and Jung theories, he, it was that he divided people, and now you can see the colors, sensible, intuitive, sentient, and thinking. And of course, it's not that if you are an intuitive, is it that the right pronunciation? Intuitive. Intuitive, yeah. thank yeah. you, Joanna. Um, person, of course, you, are, you can be good at thinking, but that is what comes First, what is the thing that you talked about now? Is the things that sort of comes easy for you? Like you said, Katarina, you said, I don't like to move forward before I really have understood a thing. For some people here in the group, you can move forward and then you think, I will run fast and I will get to know the things along the way. It's no problem at all. Uh, and some other people, they really want to dig into that first before they start doing mm -hmm. some things. Um, and what um, Jung said, he said that we learn and choose an attitude in relation to the environment in which we operate. And what did he mean by this environment? What he said when he talked about the environment, uh, he said that we perceive the environment in different ways. Uh, some of us look upon the environment as antagonistic and some of us as friendly. The red and the blue, they see the world more like antagonistic. They are obstacles. To, you, you, you need to sort of take away the obstacles so that you can move forward. Uh, that's like my husband when he's driving the car from Stockholm to Boden. It's about a thousand kilometers. He even shouts out obstacles when he sees other cars. Um, I'm just kidding, but he's, he's very like red and blue. You see things that are in the way to move forward. And an antagonistic climate can be, you know, a climate that you go into and, and it, it can be quite, you know, harsh, tough. And people with a lot of red and blue, they are quite comfortable. Going yeah, they don't in. mind it, right? They don't mind no, it. It's kind of fun, it's competitive, yes, yes, yes. energetic. And, and the red, they really think, oh, well, oh, this was a good day to wake up because today it's a lot of energy. They really need me here. Oh, I'm so glad that yeah. they took in me for this uh, 
really tough task. Congratulations to them. I'm probably the best here for this one. And, and who suffers in that moment? Right. <laughs> Someone <laughs> suffering in this antagonistic environment, yes, right? Yes. And this is so interesting because for the mid, they probably don't even perceive the environment as antagonistic. Mm. It's more like it's fun. It's like my husband, if he has yeah. a, we have a dinner yeah. and it's a little bit, you know, soft and calm, then he will stop t talking about the election in America and he will take, you know, a very strong stand yeah. and, you know, all the other people will get a little bit uncomfortable. He's very red. And then he said, now we get things uh, going. <laughs> now it's a discussion. <laughs> And it's so nice when we all have different opinions because then it's like, you know, a lot of energy. Yeah, yeah. And what you have, you see here, an active, how you have an active appearance. Mm. People with a lot of red, they are more active, more direct. And in that environment, people with a lot of blue has quite easy to work with the people with a lot of red. Uh, but they have a more passive uh, way of uh, dealing with it. Maybe listening to the Reds when they go on and talk and they talk loud. And maybe they meet them by saying, okay, Stefan, hmm, but three weeks ago, you said the opposite. I can see it here in the meeting. <laughs> have you now changed your mind or are we going to stick to it? You know, they can meet and they don't get sort of offended by that things have changed. They just want to know how was it? Should we stick to facts? Mm -hmm. So you see, we have this passive mm -hmm. or active. Mm -hmm. And you know, sometimes it's very, you know, it can be more eff effective. Uh, efficient. 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 Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sometimes it's more efficient to be passive than active. Mm -hmm. And that's very hard for red mm. and yellow people to understand. Mm. Can it be efficient to be passive? That's mm. sort of contradictory. Mm. But sometimes, you know, to talk less, mm. speak less, listen more, do less. You have this expression, you know, to don't pick up all, uh, you know, the, the monkeys. Exactly, the monkeys. Just let them fall down because then you will get something to change. And also, you might avoid a lot of U-turns, right? Mm -hmm. If if a Catalina is like checking the facts, you might be like, well, if you, if you keep going down there, we're going to run into problems. Mm -hmm. So you'll avoid mistakes potentially. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And also, but should we do a little check? Like, how if if you just raise uh, raise your hands, how many of you kind of like that sparring thing? Where, like you get into you spar, right? Ooh, like battle of wits, you know? You like art, like a fun argument. How many of you actually like it? And how many of you are like, no, it's, it creates a bad vibe. Yeah, it doesn't feel good. Like, yeah, right? So mm -hmm. very different. Mm, exactly. And then you have a friendly environment. And of course, what's a friendly environment? A friendly environment, that's often when we have consensus, uh, when it's, you know, a, a nice area. Maybe we laugh a lot and we have a, like a nice time. And there you have like the red, the, the, the yellow and green, where you have the, the yellow that have an active appearance. There's a lot of laughter mm -hmm. and, and you, you, are, you are taking quite a lot of space, both like with your body language and with your way of talking. And you have the, the, the green in this friendly environment that are more uh, for collaboration. And it's very important with consensus and not do things too fast, mm. just for the fun of it. And you see here, uh, you have like the red and the yellow that are more like in the active uh, part, you know, very high, high pace in it. And then you have the blue and the green that are perceived by the red and the yellow as more passive. And we don't, you know, say that active is good, passive is bad. That's how we are perceived. If a very red and yellow person meet a very blue and green person, the person will, this person will be perceived as more slow, uh, uh, more, careful, more careful, quiet, uh, quiet mm -hmm. um, 
and this person will probably be perceived as more risk-taking, mm -hmm. um, uh, fast, um, uh, quick, and that's how we will probably be perceived. And we're not saying what's good, what's bad, because of course that depends on the situation, the people we, 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 uh, we meet. Well, but just because you are one of them, depending on the situation, you can move around. In exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. And that's, uh, that's so good that you say that, Leonardo, because this is all about self-awareness. Mm -hmm. If we are, and that's so interesting, uh, because that's how we can calibrate um, how, are, how, how am I perceived. Mm -hmm. If I go into this meeting, do I need to be more of one of these colors mm -hmm. to get connection with Katarina, for example, or Stefan? And we're not talking about you know, becoming another person. It's more like we, we need to create rapport, we need to create connection. And often we create connection when we show that we care about what's important for you. You know, when we are in our own needs, like this is important for me, it's so important that it's, it's a high tempo, uh, that you have a lot of ideas, yeah. that we talk a lot or what it can be, or maybe I mean my needs that I really want to have, you know, all the facts, everything. Mm -hmm. And we are a little bit stuck in that, and we won't compromise with each other. So if you, uh, I mean, you have done this analysis, and I'm sure there is a lot of statistics around this, yes. so you can see some kind of, how, how does this distribute among a group of people? Uh, but, but does nationality play a role here in in, in any way, if you see in certain countries you have more of the one and less of the other, or, mm -hmm. or is this? Uh, I would say without not having, you know, 100% of the facts, Katarina, I'm looking at you here. Uh, but uh, of course, if you look, uh, for example, my, my, my mother uh, has a house in Thailand. She's there right now, lucky her. <laughs> uh, and if you look upon Thailand, uh, how the people in Asia, uh, if, if we look upon, you know, the big picture, it's very important in the culture to, to uh, behave in a way that is uh, very much uh, here, I would say. Community-based. Community-based, exactly. Mm -hmm. Like I've, I've visited my mother many times, mm -hmm. and you know, if something is not good, you, you get nowhere by being red. Then they think that you are, you know, crazy. They really think that this is the most craziest person <laughs> I met ever. Yeah. And then you think, well, this is the right way to say it because this doesn't work at all. So in Thailand, yes. you will find more green people than you will find red people. Ah, because yes. Of their yes. Uh, I mean, it's, uh, hmm. uh, yes, I would, I would, I would say so. And you have lived in the States yeah. for 27 mm. years. Yeah. And I think that many people yeah. think that people in the States yeah. are red. Yes. Mm. But are they really? I think they more. Well, I think I think we can tie tie this into what uh, what we're doing here yes. today, and what you'll see when you get your profiles, which is, you know, the question is, did I move to the states because I'm red? Yes. Or do you have to? Maybe people who are obviously not everybody is born the same way. In the, I mean, that, that that doesn't make sense, right? Mm. But you, the, we're talking about behavioral styles. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you're it, if you're more, you know, passive in the U.S., which is just culture is very forward-facing and, and active, mm -hmm. you have to up that part. So your mm -hmm. your adaptive style mm -hmm. goes up, mm -hmm. and you probably even feel it. it I, I would assume most of you maybe have, have visited the U.S. and all of a sudden you're all kinds of, you know, open and talking to strangers, <laughs> and you're like, oh, I would never do this in Sweden, but because you're now in the culture that does that, but. It, it's not necessarily how you are naturally. Mm. So mm. I guess both. Mm. Uh, I'm sure there are Reds in Thailand that had, mm. that would like to mm. be more active, but mm. they bring them mm. down bring for the down. sake of the community. Mm. 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 But out of the Thailand discussions, if you go into Thailand, this company, yes. mm. do you say that the company management, they're all in the friendly So all the Reds started companies in Thailand. Yeah, in, <laughs> yeah. I perceive Thailand as hierarchical, so you don't yeah. go against. So you have someone that is the dominant. Yeah. 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 Mm. yeah so the population yeah. might be down there, but mm. the people 
Exactly. Give me yes. Of both. yes. And often it's quite interesting because you can look at company cultures. Mm. It, it can often be some, I, I know with, with Karin here we work with Fagerhult, it's mm. a, a company within Lightning. And, and, and uh, when we went there for the first customer meeting, they had this um, thing on the table with this Mossad Kugel, you know, mm -hmm. that yes, yes. And, and I just asked them, oh, my, it's a whole, you know, a lot of Mossad Kugels. I, I think <laughs> I took two of them. <laughs> uh, and, and, and then they said, well, it's uh, from a, a supplier that we been work we've been working with this supplier for uh, 15 years. Mm -hmm. Years, you know, for a red person, a supplier can't be good. 15 years, you must change. You can't have a supplier for so long time. The, the company culture was very green. Mm. You know, they were very thorough. Who mm. will they work with? Mm. They were very skeptical, mm. digging into who is this? Are we really yeah. going to work with this? But when they decided, it was for long term. Mm. Another company, it can be, we will change supplier every second year, get good better prices and that they will really you know be on their toes mm -hmm. and I think what one of the dangers mm -hmm. then if we're not aware mm -hmm. of, the, of the various types is that you know these are the talkers and the active ones mm. these people mm. are just as smart right but they never they never get a word in edgewise mm. you know you'll miss facts you'll miss like the mm. things that make for a good culture because you like this side may not stop to listen and these guys are not naturally going, hey, my turn. They wouldn't do that. They just listen, patient. And, mm -hmm. You know, at some point they'll know to stop so I can talk, but they don't. <laughs> they won't stop unless you stop them, right? So, exactly. yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, is it okay if we take like 50 more minutes and then take a break? Is mm -hmm. it okay or do you want to have five minutes now? It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Um, yes, and we are going to look at this because when you look at the different colors, you can see the red is how you approach problems and challenges, and yellow um, is how you transfer thoughts and ideas to your surroundings, and green is how you respond to the pace of your surroundings, and blue. Uh, is how you respond to the rules and routines of the uh, of the environment, um, and of course you will have like uh, probably two or three of these colors more in your uh, profile, and we will go through and get some example of it, and you will then give, do this sort of self uh, assessments, um, and we can look at this. Uh, um, I think it's um, easier if you just read this, what, what is this and what is it not? As we said from the beginning, it's not a selection tool, it's more for team development and analysis. Good. Well, mm -hmm. right. yes. Good. So, and what about it? Because uh, when you get your profile, uh, you will see two different profiles. You will both have your sort of basic behavior, and then you will have your adapted behavior. And um, when it comes to basic behavior, I said that uh, when we around 18, 20 years old, uh, our behavior is quite set. But of course, if, if things happen uh, when we get older, it can, it, it, it can change. Uh, me, for example, I have four kids uh, at home. And, and I must say that I have uh, um, been forced to be more patient. Uh, so my, we will look upon it, green has sort of, you know, developed a lot uh, since I got uh, older. Uh, and that's quite, so if you see, if you, in your life, if something has happened, it can be like a divorce, you get kids, uh, things in life that has sort of changed you from, from the ground, uh, that can affect your, your basic uh, profile. Um, and one or two colors are often more uh, dominant, but it's also quite interesting with this, how our basic behavior is shaped. It's, sort of mixture of genes 
and your environment. I myself, uh, I'm raised in two families. I have no brothers and sisters, but I have four parents. Uh, maybe they thought that it's enough with one of this uh, person. <laughs> I don't know. My, my father and her, uh, his uh, wife got dogs instead. So, <laughs> um, but I was um, raised in two totally different families. In my father's family, uh, he's a policeman and his wife is also a policeman. It was so important with uh, uh, everything was organized 100%. And he was only always, you know, on time. If we were said that we would meet at three o'clock, mm. when it was like, you know, one minute past three, it was almost, oh, I have to, you know, call the police. Something has happened because he was never ever late. Very very organized. Um, if we were to spend um, uh, Christmas at my uh, father's place, I I could, you know, and I, I knew the schedule. We would take the car and go and get grandmother and we will pick her up at 12 o'clock. And if we arrive with the car 10 minutes before, we would go with the car around <laughs> the neighborhood. And then we went up and he looked at his you know, watch and a bling plong <laughs> and grandmother opened. And the Christmas table was set and you knew exactly where the ham would stand. And of course, why should they put the ham in another place on the table? Because they have it all, you know, set, exactly. And then you had your dinner, and then it was Kalianka, it's a Swedish program that you look watch at three o'clock in the afternoon. And then you have your Christmas presents. And in my other family, it was my mother and stepfather, and they were both pharmacists. So they have, you know, two pairs. Uh, my mother always said, oh no, where is my you know wrapping paper i can't find it can you maybe go out and buy some so i had to go you know in the snowstorm and and buy some you know paper to for her to wrap my presents and <laughs> and then everything was delayed and oh she had forgot something else and then you know the, the, the dinner was late and my grandfather fell asleep in the sofa because he was so tired and everything was very spontaneous and then we watched the film very late and everything was you know very nice these are you know different environments and of course you are uh, you are a mixture of your genes and your surroundings but also what's very important in interesting is when your kids grew up what is like the right way to behave mm -hmm. and that if you if you look upon a company culture what is the right way to behave? How should we behave together? For me, I've been you know, traveling around to different families and I can see the positive things with both sides of it. And you're a mixture uh, of it. And then you have this uh, that we call adapted behavior. And that's, of course, it's but changed by, by the external influences and it's learned and it can be learned again. And we have a lot of adapted behaviors and you will see that in your profile because some of you, uh, when you go to work and you open the door, uh, you adapt your profile. Most of us do that in one way or another, but it's very interesting to see what do we adapt and how do we uh, adapt. Uh, and does it take energy yeah. or does it not uh, take uh, energy? So I, I, I would like before we take a break, if you just uh, stand up, uh, pick a friend uh, in the room, and you just reflect upon a, a new friend, maybe this, <laughs> this time. Now you wanted to work more together, <laughs> I saw uh, a, a, a new friend this time, and reflect upon uh, what kind of um, adaption uh, do you have to do right now when you go to work? Compared to your ground, you know, superpower, what you think that you're good at, what do you feel right now that you have to adapt at your job? What sort of, you know, sucks a little bit of energy? Do you need to be like more firm? Do you need to be more determined? Do you need to be more tough? Or maybe you need to be, you know, listen more and be more patient. You don't want to be that patient. What is that you need to adapt? Is my, is my question, clear enough or is it 
Not clear. I'm looking at Leonardo. I understood that. <laughs> you understand that? <laughs> I look at you and I'm, uh, yes, I'm clear now. So, yeah. so take, uh, um, t we, we will use your clock yes. and we will use uh, four minutes uh, mm -hmm. for the uh, exercise, uh, or maybe Frida. Uh, four minutes, uh, pick a friend and then we will gather together and then we will take a couple of minutes uh, for a break. Mm -hmm. Before you do, I have a question. Yes. Possible. In the matrix, have you plotted off into the matrix? Yes. Yes, you are going to see the matrix. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, so we will look so upon you as a team. Yes, yes. <laughs> and you know, once in Leonardo, when, when I worked at Profis, they used you know this as a selection uh, tool. Uh, you know, that's very that was 1998. So that's uh, as old as I am. And I I I remember appreciated that is what is uh, considered. Mm -hmm. The norm. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Mm -hmm. I have to, like I told Lily, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to expose myself here. Um, I'm not really super interested to discuss what I did over the weekend with my colleagues, no. No. but I've learned that that's mm -hmm. what you're supposed to do if you want to be accepted in the group. Yes. I was, yeah, sorry. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes. And we talked about that. And also, you know, having this elbow for coffee. Mm -hmm. and we yeah, of course, well, we have to adapt them. <laughs> yes. How are you? Because yes. I'm more like cut to crap and come to this. Yes. We're here to work. Talk about <gasps> and a bit like this. And of course, I'm kind of not stop interrupting and listening. Mm. 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 Good. Thanks a lot, and and that's it, that's that's interesting. What kind of culture do you have? And when you know each other, you know when 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 a team is very de developed, then you then you know yourself with your superpowers and your needs, and you have an understanding. And that's in a, like a relationship, you know a little bit what to expect. And sometimes you expect things that is very hard to get, and maybe you can get a little bit of it. But maybe you also should look upon a, what what is what are our so, sort of superpowers and how can we work together? Uh, because it's when we're expecting a lot from each other within areas that we that <coughs> takes a lot of energy. It's not so pro productive in a team. So we can help each other by also saying what we need and also be open what takes energy. So it um, that's, uh, uh, creates a very good climate. Mm. Thanks a lot for sharing, uh, Stefan and Leonardo. I was laughing because uh, it was exactly the same thing when I said to Leonardo. <laughs> I, I also need to notch up my being a little bit more extrovert when I when I when I come to, to work than what I am in my private setting. Mm. So it's, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. I think what Pia said it, it was more the situational based one. That yes. I had my characteristics. Yes. But it, if I'm meeting with my boss, then he's the boss. I mean, mm. I, at least I don't just too much against. And so it's a bit yes. you adapt. And then yes. you're, 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 you're not changing color completely. No, no. But you no. need to adapt to it. And then when I when we have uh, some things we need to do, and then yes. to get to, mm. to get it done, then you need yes. to. Yeah, at least mm. I, I I like to think that I give the energy yes. to people to do mm. change. Mm. Yeah, I, I buy into you, to yours because I lived in Italy for five years and I yeah. gained like 15 kilos because every morning I had to go to the bar, <laughs> have a, a cappuccino and a brioche and look on the sport news. I'm completely uninterested in sport. Ah. But that was the topic of the yes. day in the office. Yeah. Yes, yeah. 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 But, uh, you know, I, I also, I think there's something, there's yeah. just one little thing to reflect on is also that, you know, um, what if it's on purpose? It's very easy when you meet someone who's very different from you and mm -hmm. hard to understand their style. And it's easier when you find someone who's very similar to yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Then it's the, oh. <laughs> but is, we, we really want to consider, is that where we learn? We enjoy ourselves, but it, I, I think we could agree that we become better people. Like what you, if you have to adapt and consider another person, mm -hmm. you do become, don't you become a better mm -hmm. listener? You do have to kind of tamper that down on lesser uh, attractive traits, like your impatience and your just knee-jerk reactions and saying whatever you want. Like, maybe it's not so bad. 
they had to adapt out of consideration for other people. So even though it, it may not be comfortable, mm. maybe it's not a problem. Like, what if it was on purpose? Isn't this what it is? I mean, mm. Mm. They, they've said that organizations that have many different types of people and, 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 and cultures, it's more difficult, but they're more successful long term versus a homo you know, um, um, homogenous group mm. that see things all the same way, but then they miss the whole other side. Mm. 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 Well, I, 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 I just reflect myself when you're talking, and, mm -hmm. and, and uh, I guess that if you are uh, a member of the executive leadership team, mm -hmm. you get probably less or you get more lazy in, in adopting yourself. Yes. Uh, because you, like this, other, other adopts to you, right? right. Mm. So, so, uh, mm. so, so that's, uh, mm. yeah. that's actually a, a very interesting reflection. Yeah. Yes, and that's think about. So uh, mm. be, be uh, you know, don't, yeah. don't lose that. Uh, yeah. I'll give you a little uh, mantra. Ease is not the goal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we did what you said in the, in the management team when I was there. We, we, we fixed the management team mm -hmm. to be a multi scholar mm -hmm. and it became the most effective one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And easiest to work with. Mm -hmm. Eventually, mm -hmm. once you kind of calibrate it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. question and the blue, we had the new replacer, so it was mm -hmm. very smooth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not most fun, but. <laughs> <laughs> but it worked. <laughs> right? Oh. And, and also what, what, you, what you say here is also so interesting because sometimes, as you said, Leonardo, that, uh, and you joked a little bit about it, that you adopt uh, yourself. And it's also always interesting to think in a meeting, am I the one who adopt me to the meeting with you? Or do you adopt yourself to me? Mm -hmm. and, and, and that is when you think about if you, if you go into a meeting and you step out and you're sort of trained with energy. Probably you is the one who has adopted most, mm -hmm. and that is so interesting. Mm -hmm. And it, it can also be that we we are so straightforward with each other. If we really have you know a good course uh, of doing it, that we have the guts to ask, mm -hmm. how was this meeting, or mm -hmm. was I a little bit too much, or should mm -hmm. should I have done something wrong? Mm -hmm. Uh, in in a, in a, in a, in another way because mm. if we give feedback to each other and we really want each other to grow mm. that's the sort of best thing we can do it's in a very efficient way mm. and i usually say that as i work a lot with the women mm. not to give it each other feedback is in a very efficient way of not letting people grow mm. Mm. i think that's interesting because men usually give each other more feedback and then they grow more mm -hmm. so and and you know, we, we're going to look at you know the antagonistic and the friendly <laughs> and sometimes it can be like a misunderstanding if you take up something that you want another person to develop in that it's a critic thing to say mm -hmm. but it can be like you know the most valuable gift that you ever mm -hmm. get but of course, you have to work with like a lot of positive feedback uh, um, as well. Um, uh, but but because and, and that can be that if we have a very good climate, we can also be so straightforward to each other so with us, so that we can also say that, <laughs> like um, that maybe Joanna will say to me, Lisa, next time we work together. Um, I like this and this very much about you and what I would be even more glad would be yeah. if you can do this and this, you know, what we need more of the other person mm. in the collaboration. Mm. It's not critic, it's what mm. we need more mm. and then we can be so efficient uh, together. Uh, and if I uh, let me finish off with you before the five minutes. <laughs> Well, um, I'm when I go to work yes. now, it's uh, I'm fairly new. Yes. So uh, it, it of course it's a little bit sort of tiresome, yes. you know, <laughs> just to have all these uh, new um, new stuff that yes. I have to learn and also get to know all the mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. So I feel that I am much more tired in yes. the evenings now yes. than I used to be, of course. Mm -hmm. But I think also um, I can feel that in 
now I have a very small team, but I feel that mm. um, it takes I used to work with very young people mm -hmm. only, mm -hmm. so and they they are all extremely enthusiastic <laughs> on change and yeah. uh, you know. So now it's more I have to. Um, uh, it's more demanding mm -hmm. to motivate and mm -hmm. to assure mm -hmm. you know to get this um, yeah this enthusiasm yes. into into the team. I feel. That takes more energy. of my mm. energy now. Maybe yes. it's because I'm new, mm -hmm. but I mm. think it has something mm. to do also mm. with the kinds of people mm. I have. Mm. And one thing that you can think about during the afternoon is what do you think that you need to sort of, you know, use more in, mm. in, in yourself? And sometimes we can see it in, in your colleagues. Sometimes mm. it can be good to see, mm. ah, well, for this task, I, I should use a little bit of Johanna's super strength here mm. for this. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. I quite often call, it's a friend of mine called Miliana, uh, I quite often you know, call her and say, ah, Miliana, I'm, I'm going to do this and this, uh, I, I have this uh, thing here coming. How would you think? Uh, well, I would do like this. Mm. And then I think, okay, that's the way she would do it. Mm. If I would do it like Miliana, I'm not Miliana. But if I would do it in my way, what can I take the best part of it and do it in my way? Sometimes it's easier to see it from from the outside to help you know get a little bit of help from your mm -hmm. from your friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you, Christiana. Yeah, well, I, I have like due to my function always everybody against me. So. <laughs> 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 that's just part of the nature I lost uh, 30 years for us now. Yeah, so but this is the thing you always have to overcome in each of these conversations. You have to overcome this uh, fear from the other side yes. uh, to, to come. And this is uh, sometimes it's a lot of tiring yes. because you have to convince the other person, yes, I am the one that has to tell you this is right or wrong. But on the other side, it's not me, Christiane, it's mm. my function. Mm -hmm. And this is, you have to really learn to keep mm. a distance to this. If not, what are the people telling you, you should never take it personally mm. because yeah. it's, it's very related to the function. Because when I would take it personally, as I said before, because it's really, um, he, he, they, most of the people cannot distinguish between that it's my function and that it's me. Mm. So, so that it's, of course, it's mm. then very, uh, yeah, you have to handle it mm. somehow. Yes. Yes. And of course, as older you get and more experience, mm. you don't mind when he said you are like stupid. <laughs> so, <okay. laughs> that's, that's it. Maybe. Yes. <laughs> but Christiana, I still know in some occasions where people have even called me and said, come Christiana, come back. <laughs> yeah, okay, but so, uh, so I, I know situations absolutely where you have been, uh, or actually it's that in, in many cases you are extremely appreciated for your, your competence and, and how you manage to, to get into things. But uh, I think sometimes you forget about that. Uh, where I, I, I think about the US. Yeah, okay. But you know, they were right. just dying for you to come back. Yeah, but yes, it's right. I see it because I really, that is why I do the shop, because I'm very passionate about mm. it. Because I think when you are not, then you get depressed. Because mm. uh, when you have to do your daily work is to explain other people mm. what they are not doing correct, it's mm. very difficult. Mm. So you have to be convinced that there is a goal about yes. it, yes. so where you go for, yeah. yes. if not, I think it's, um, yeah, I still like it after all these years. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> was well, handy, I think, with DISC too, Lisa, before I guess we take the break, is that the fact that we were talking about behavior, mm. you know, like in conflict resolution, mm. you talk about the behavior, not the person, right? Mm. So no personality mm. attacks, but mm. so to be able to differentiate, so you could talk about, could you bring more, up more of this behavior, mm. you know, saying, you know, you're a jerk. You no, it's like this mm -hmm. behavior, mm -hmm. which makes it makes a good you tool. A jerk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is good. Okay, we will take five. Is it okay with five minutes? Yeah. Uh, okay. Thanks for sharing. Thank you. Thank you.
uh, welcome, welcome back, and we will uh, continue with with disc and uh, about disc. Uh, and we we have we have already talked about it. When we meet other people, some some people say that like ninety percent uh, is is uh, um, due to how we are uh, good at meeting people in their needs, wishes, and what kind of behaviors. They want to see from us in the communication. Uh, you know the French word to create rapport. How do we connect to each other? Can we, we humans often um, uh, function the way that we, we are trying to find things that are alike? Um, how can we connect? What is like the sort of in Swedish minsta gemensamma nämnare? Where can we connect? In, in the lowest common denominator. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, how can we connect? I know a company in the States, I don't know the name of it, but they, 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 they took like two different coins uh, and they gave a task to see how many things that are alike between these coins can you find? And they just took in people in the companies that could find a lot of things that was in common with these two coins. It sounds, you know, a little bit crazy, but it was more about how much do you really strive to find things who's the, at the other person that you can connect to. Because they saw that if you really strive to, to connect, we will probably work better together. On the other hand, you know, very mature groups, uh, as you said also, uh, Stefan, if you're in a mature group and you have worked for a long time together and you know each other, and if you feel safe in that group, you can also act more towards the goal. You can compromise a little bit with, you know, to adapt. So it can be counterproductive if you know each other very well. And you are a very good team, <coughs> and uh, you should be able more to sort of be more direct to each other because you should feel safe that the other person wants the good for you. Uh, but if we look upon this, how can we read other people? If, if, you, if you meet another person, how can you sort of try to figure out what kind of person is it that I meet? Uh, so please help me out with that one, uh, Katarina. When uh, when Olive, yes. I believe, when you meet another person, what do you look for? If you meet a you know totally new person, you try to figure out um, <coughs> how can I figure out what this person's needs are, wishes, what kind of behavior. What do you look for when you meet another person? I think the questions you need. Yes, the questions. Mm -hmm. And what do you sort of look for then? Um, no, but you know, I try to find out how they think. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, adapt. And adapt to that, yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. More ideas when you meet other people, Christiana? Christi is it Christiana or Christiane? Christiane. Christiane, <laughs> yes. Uh, sorry. <laughs> no. What, what yeah, do you look think, for? Uh, first, it's the first impression you get how this person is dressed yes. as well. So mm -hmm. you immediately have like a visualization mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. you expect. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think it's especially in women it's very easy because yes. you, you have uh, that immediately like an, an idea. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, then, of course, when you uh, shake hands, it's that what well, nowadays you're not doing so much more, <laughs> but uh, when you would uh, do, then uh, I think it's how this person express themselves, yes. what way of or how they talk. Yes. That's very important, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. Good, good. More, more things. Uh, Leonardo, what do you think about? What do you look, look for or look at when you meet another person to sort of see uh, how can you calibrate and well I mean, uh, it's a multifaceted question yes. normally when i meet people i i have discovered also some years that I, I, the, the picture i get normally mm. is the right picture ah, <laughs> you should I'm, work in my company with mm. the recruitment <laughs> <laughs> sorry for me we can take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, but but then i mean you try to i try to understand okay what what is the 
if we have meter, what, yeah. why, why is they say master of sex? Ah, mm -hmm. yes, the sort of analysis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you mm -hmm. need, to need to, to know what treatment mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. get. What I want is simply because I just need to understand how to handle that person to get my things done. Yes. Right, so. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And Katarina, what do you think when, when you meet uh, people, what do you sort of uh, look at when you try to s sort of see how can you adapt to I think it's a bit in how in, in the engagement yes to see how how mm -hmm. do I get the feeling for that the person listens yes in, uh, that we have like a it's a spark that mm -hmm. we talk mm -hmm. as much or as little mm -hmm. or just mm -hmm. uh, well it also depends on what kind of meeting it is I mean if I'm going into a meeting where I need information mm -hmm. maybe I'll just talk 10 10 percent and then mm -hmm try to get information out but mm. if for example if I go into a meeting where I'm supposed to be yes. interviewed mm. I get quite surprised that the other person speaks 90% mm. yes. mm. mm. and probably that will say something about oh yes the other then I'm person. very fast to making yeah. up my mind of what I think of that person yes. <laughs> <laughs> I spoke about that ah. <laughs> and and it's also interesting to see in that kind of meeting and what will you do because some people in that kind of meeting mm -hmm. will probably take a step forward and sort of you know do something or other people take a step back you know active mm -hmm. passive how do we do to to correct how do we do to make it a good meeting for me and for the other person and that's just an interesting thing to see how we react and what we do in meetings and is it that we will continue with it or will we do in a, in another way and, and sometimes you can be sort of shocked when you go to, into a meeting and you thought that it would look in one way mm. and it end up in another uh, way. Uh, good points there, because what's interesting when we come to this, because as Joanna said, we can't read other people's minds. What we look upon is behaviors. And behaviors, <coughs> we can change. We can choose behavior. And that is so interesting because we can really pick what kind of behavior is good in this meeting. What is good when we work together? You know, sometimes it can be counterproductive with the behavior. Maybe we are very, you know, proud of our behavior, but in this meeting it will be, you know, it's not doing either of us good. Mm. Uh, let's, uh, if we just look at upon, you know, body language. Uh, we, we can get some information about the, the person. Uh, we can look at uh, how they express uh, themselves, as you uh, said, Christiana, um, and how they speak. Do they use, like, you know, are they very direct? Uh, how do they use words? Uh, are they very certain about things when they, when they talk? And, uh, and what do they, as you also took up, talk about? Do they talk about people? Do they talk about numbers, figures? Uh, what do they want to talk about? Is it the goal? Just by using these three areas, we can get to know quite a lot about um, the people. Yes, and moving towards with the with the, the disc, uh, and I want you to now to sort of um, reflect upon, if we look upon, uh, red personality type what's the characteristics of the red maybe we can just uh, i don't need your help for now i can move it myself i think <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. So, I should i read through yes yeah. please so we have red and again it, obviously no one's only red right it's not like oh this is one person but that this trait action oriented competitive spirit Powerful, determined, immediate, there's an E missing, uh, curious, an initiator, and oh, determined again. Very determined. Very, very, very determined. determined. Super determined. Yes, very yes. Good. yes. Uh, and you look upon, you know, the body language. If you meet a red uh, person, it's, it's often, you know, quite business like. Uh, high tempo, both often in speech and in movements. Uh, it's it's quite usual, quite quite often. It's like it's like this, 
I would say, when red people, you know, of course, when we talk about this, we, you know, we do a little bit with this about it uh, to, to get a feeling because we are a mixture. Um, it's often this sort of distinctive moments uh, and walk with distinct, uh, distinctive steps. Uh, I had a, a former boss, uh, when, she, when, when she came in the morning into the office, it was, you know, this kind of carpet. And you can hear her. I, I can't, you know, how can you hear a person when it's, you know, very soft uh, uh, carpet. Uh, and often, uh, if you look upon, if we have like a group, uh, like a workshop, and you, and you look uh, at the group, you can see the reds, they are looking at you with a little bit of, you know, demanding eyes, <laughs> like, okay, now Lisa is good. Well, now she was not that good. Okay, maybe now she's good again. Ah, now she, I'm not sure, you know, they are demanding. Once I had this uh, um, uh, person coming to my workshop and the person came to another workshop and I was doing a workshop together with a colleague. And this uh, man came up to me and he said, Lisa, just want to say one thing. I have high expectations. Oh. And my workshop, uh, you know, friend told me, oh, that sounds horrible. And I said to her, no, 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 that's a compliment. It's from a red. He has <laughs> high expectation. That's, you know, the best thing you can get from a red uh, person. Um, and about this, you know, speaking with a loud voice, uh, that's quite often with red people that they speak with, you know, a strong and high voice. Uh, I worked as a, at an office and I had my colleague Anna and she was talking, you know, very loud and she was, you know, in the telephone and she was, you know, ringing and, 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 and we had a lot of green people at the office and they talked about oh how should we handle Anna in this you know office landscape but they didn't talk to her so they created you know this policy how we should talk to each other in the office landscape and it was all created to handle Anna <laughs> and then I went to Anna and I said you know they are creating this policy how we should you know talk in the office like and it's about you and you know then she laughed very very loudly and said why don't they just come to me and say that because for a red person they often themselves if there is a problem they are you know straight at it um, and what they do is that they often ask when okay we are talking about this when are we going to take the next step okay when are we going to launch okay this new system when when is it up and running in a year are you crazy i give it three months you know they really wanted to go faster uh, at off at the uh, profis randstad uh, i had uh, my uh, boss erica she was very red and i said to her erica I think that you, your leadership style is so so nice, and I think that you listen. And you seem to be so patient. Uh, and then she said to me, "Listen, this is you know when I sit with my staff. I have you know attended these leadership uh, workshops many times, and I have learned to be patient. So I try to look patient, but you know under the table my 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 leg is shivering, and I feel that I have you know to do like this." to get the tempo going with, with my staff. And also my leadership um, thing for you, uh, if you're going to be a leader, is that don't let your employees go down on your, you know, heels. Mm. Uh, you always need them to get up so mm. they can really, you know, strive for more. Mm. And you know this expression, when you sail, that when it's a storm, you can, what's the English word, uh, that you can oh. get up to uh, his Yeah, you raise the sails, yes. right? Yes, yeah. yeah. So when it's a storm, you raise the sails. I think that's an expression from, you know, a red person. Now it's really stormy. <laughs> oh, this is a good opportunity um, instead of, you know, going into a sort of safe uh, place. This is our opportunity. Um, so in this sort of energy, it's that, you, you know, an active behavior in, you know, uh, a sort of antagonistic uh, landscape. 
Uh, one more example. I had read um, a read customer once at Apotek Hjärta, the pharmacy in Sweden. Her name was Camilla. She was a very business-oriented HR manager. She was very tall, like 180 centimeters and powerful. And I was doing my first workshop. And she said to me, tomorrow, I'm go I have worked with them for 20 years, tomorrow I will come and check if you are good or not good. <laughs> oh, um, so next day, and then I thought she's red, so probably she has, you know, triple booked herself because, you know, you just can't have one thing in a, your agenda. You need to have a lot of things. So I said, I don't think that she will get it, you know, when I, when I start the workshop. And I had 25 leaders from Apotek Hjertat. And the leaders in Apotek Hjertat, they are very blue-green fact-oriented, relation-oriented, and I think they were all 55 years old, and their name was Berit. Yes. Berit, yes. So then we had lunch, and I sat there with 20, 50, 25 Berits having lunch. And how do you think that the environment is when you meet 20, 25, like, green and blue people? Quiet. It was so nice and cozy. And when one Berit spoke, what do you think the other 24 did? Listen. Yes. And then Berit one stopped, uh, stopped talking. <laughs> then the other 24, they listened a little bit longer because maybe Berit one had something more to add. Hmm. And in that environment, Camilla comes rushing in. And she stood like this and she asked, hello everyone, uh, how is the course? And then one Berit raised her head and she said, we are having a very good time. And then she said, I'm not asking if you are having a good time. I'm wondering if you are learning anything. <laughs> and then another Berit said, we are doing that as well. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, with red, it's a lot about control, mm. to have control. But when a red person feels that you have met their expectations, a little bit above, they want someone, you know, to, you know, a little bit above, then the red is very, you know, safe with to dele delegate, dele Delegating, delegate, yeah. and they are not, you know, so much into control. But before that, they really want to have a control. Um, and when you enter a room with a lot of red people, maybe doing, you know, sort of group activity, first of all, the red will look at the course leader and think, group activity, haven't we paid a lot for this uh, course? Why should we do a group activity? That can't be good at all. First, they are very skeptical. Then they get a little bit, you know, um, panisorienterad. Um, Competitive. Exactly, yes. okay. If we're going to do this group work, we are going to do the best group work. <laughs> so they go into a room and maybe someone stands, you know, writing. And someone else thinks that they have a better idea. So they jump up, take the pen from the other person and start writing. And they often interrupt each other. And no one seemed to think that that is rude. Because, oh, that was good. Stefan had a better idea. Because the, be the best idea will win. And if uh, I don't think that Stefan has a better idea, no, 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 no. then I will raise my voice and talk a little bit higher. Because my idea... I really want it to, to land. And then they will you know, go out from the room and say that we had a really good and very nice group work. And they will come back in half of the time and they will look at all the other groups and think why are they so lazy and why are they so slow because we are, have already finished the group work. And often it's very easy that you put the pace in the same pace as the reds. 60% is often that they have green in their uh, behavior style analysis. It is often that we organize meetings after reds. Mm -hmm. And then the reds wonder why doesn't people do the way that we have uh, talked about? Mm -hmm because we thought that we have sort of, you know, mm. get all the people on the train. Mm. 
Yes, uh, can we take the yellow one and then you will have a sort of uh, that you will see what kind of color you are. Is it okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and if we summarize here, a person with a lot, because you can have a lot or you can have like less of the, the red in your profile. Uh, it how you approaches difficulties and challenges. And if you have a lot of red, uh, you can be seen as uh, of a person with less of the red as pushy and impatient. And if you have less of the red, you will be seen as wait and see and patient. And that is, of course, it's from uh, which perspective we look upon a person. Yes. And now we have like the, the yellows. Maybe you can help me sure. with the words. So they, they, uh, yeah, yes. Yeah. So, they, uh, so basically outgoing, convincing, friendly, verbal, open, positive. And there, you know, communication is important and they're very person oriented. And also their behavior. You can you can tell a yellow is in the room, they're relaxed and joking. A little bit like the best kind of a host or hostess. That, like the life of the party, their job is to make everybody feel comfortable and they feel almost that is their job. And they quickly they quickly become close to others, both in dialogue and physically, you know, they you don't even know them and then they'll run up to you, they're like, hi, you're welcome and and uh, you know, energetic, happy, open eyed. So mm. that's like the I mean you can't miss them, right? No. You can't miss a yellow. Uh, it's also when, you, if, if you look, for example, at if, if you come to uh, an office landscape uh, and, and, and now you, 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 it's quite often when you hear a yellow person <coughs> entering into a meeting, it, it's like, oh, I'm, 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 so, I'm so sorry, I'm a little bit late because something happened on the way. I think that expression must be you know, created by a yellow person. How can so much happen to you know, one person? Uh, and that's because, you know, if you look at the body language, it's often, you know, a little bit like this, that they are like, and if you're like this, and if you're looking at, you know, people like that, like my husband, he's walking like this, and, you know, nothing happens all the way. <laughs> but if you're, you know, a little bit like this, you will meet people, you will get eye contact. It's like when I met Leonardo, you know, I went to Dometic, and I, of course, forgot my telephone. I met Stefan and Frida. So I went out, and I think it was, was yeah. you, yes, yes, and I went out to the elevator, and I realized that I, you know, lost my phone, and, and then I, 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 I think I mumbled for myself, oh, where is my, oh, where is my telephone, and then Leonardo came as like, you know, sort of saint to me, <laughs> and, and he started, oh, should I give you a call, what's your number, and he was, you know, should I open the door, we go and look for it, and it was, and, and, and I laughed, because I thought, that um, I have heard, you know, the, 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 the name and the group, and I, I had heard your name, and I thought maybe that could be one of the participants. And then I really know that must be quite a lot of yellow in that behavior style. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. this intuitive way of, uh, of, of acting mm. at meeting another person. Mm. And it's like, it, it's like it takes no energy to start talking. It's yeah. like, yeah. it goes instantly. Is the uh, consummate people person, and it's the kind of person you feel like you already know them, but you don't actually. But you, you, you're just like, oh, don't we know each other already? Yes. But that's their behavioral style. Exactly. Yeah. And how they speak, quite often, it's with many words. Red, they speak often quite, you know, a little bit strong, but it's not many words. It's that they speak about what they should speak about. Yellow can speak about many things at the same time <laughs> and it can be fascinating how can we and yellow when two yellow meet they can be so enthusiastic in the beginning yeah. but then they both can get so tired because they have talked so much <laughs> how many words have we talked now in one hour this must be you know guinness yeah. record book yeah. uh, because it can be so very very yes. intense yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and red yeah. Uh, they ask, you know, when? Mm -hmm. Yellow ask, who? Mm -hmm. Who is the one who's going to present this on this conference? Who is? Uh, it's a little bit about themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and sometimes Yellow says, oh, that is not right, that is not right, that is, it's not so important that mm -hmm. people notice me. 
Uh, but then it's quite usual that you see that often yellow people like to be in the spotlight. And it can be for their ideas, for their cre creativity. So I usually say when you have yellow people in the group, let them shine. Let them take the arena. One of my uh, friends, she worked at this big office landscape. She was very outgoing. Mm -hmm. And when she came to the job in the morning, uh, it was like 100 people working there. She stood in the entrance and she said, good morning, everybody. <laughs> now I'm here. <laughs> now we can start to work. Um, I have a lot of yellow in my in, in my profile. And when I was little, before my parents were okay. divorced, uh, we, we lived in the town in Sweden called Gävle. Uh, and as I had no brothers and sisters, it, it, I, I had to you know go out and look for friends. Mm. So I went around in the neighborhood and you know I rang the door, ping pong. Have you got any children here that I can play with? Uh, and that's, you know, yellow, very yellow uh, behavior. I have uh, four kids at home. I have uh, one introvert and uh, one extrovert um, uh, daughter. And, you know, for introvert, that would be like an impossible thing to do. She would say that then you are crazy if you act in that way. And for the other daughter, it's quite natural. Mm. So you can see what's, what comes natural for you takes uh, a little energy. And if you say something about your new group work, and I start dividing you into groups, and then Elive uh, understands that she will be in the same group as Katarina. And also, um, Christina will also be in the same group, and you are yellow. You will start looking at each other, and you will hear nothing what I talk about. And you will, you know, look at each other like this, like, we are the best group, sha la 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 la. You will run out to a room, start doing, you know, a task that has nothing to do with the person here, you know, telling you about the task. And you go as a course leader there, and you look into the room, and you realize that you're doing another task. <laughs> but they are, you know, so happy about because this is, you know, it's, it's a better thing to do than what she talked about. And they run into the room and present it in front of the group. <laughs> and they are so proud. So they will applaud each other for because it's so very creative. Mm. And this is like yellow. It's, you know, 100% possibilities. Mm. If there is a problem, Go to the yellow. Walt Disney went first to this group. All possibilities are, you know, here on the table. It's, you know, raining possibilities every day. You just need to see them and be able to, to take them. Mm -hmm. um, and now uh, I would like you both, uh, all of you, uh, to uh, reflect soon. First, we will see if you have a lot you will be seen as uh, optimistic and persuasive. You use your way to talk, uh, to, to, to get, get people uh, on the boat with you. Uh, and uh, it's how you transfer thoughts and ideas to your environment. And if you have a little bit of yellow, if you compare that, uh, you, uh, you, uh, your side is pessimistic and suspicious. Uh, my partner at home, uh, he has, you know, uh, this yellow is very low in his sort of uh, uh, adaptive behavior when he's in a, in a work mood. So he thinks that the best thing you can give to another person is to talk about risk and what can go wrong with things. So he, you know, he comes and he's sort of, you can see that he's so proud of overcoming, like he's giving you a little present and I'm very yellow. So I usually go to other people that are, are yellow because I want to, you know, be happy about my idea. And he's very skeptical because what he's very good at is to see what can go wrong. So, you know, uh, and what they did at Walt Disney was, you know, the yellow with a lot of yellow first looked at the idea and then they got the people with the low of the yellow and the blue to see, will this fly or not? Will it be possible to launch this idea? Mm. Which of the ideas are, are the best? So you should be very careful in which state uh, you use your different behavior 
if it's like productive or not uh, productive. I think Lisa and I are married to the same husband yeah. yes. because she will tell me, you are <laughs> infernal. <laughs> you are your infernal optimism. Yes. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. Yes, uh, and and uh, and also, uh, I worked with P P P V C um, for for four years, mm -hmm. uh, and and um, uh, and and I know that you know to have um, sometimes you need, really need to be skeptical. You need to have to to look at the budgets and see will this number uh, work uh, or not or not work uh, in in the in the. So if you uh, and I had one. Um, um, person at the course and he said if you want to have a very creative accountant then you should call me <laughs> <laughs> um, and sometimes you need to be that uh, and mm. I would like to do like this um, we can do that we divide you three and three and uh, Frida do you want to join or do you want to not not join or of course. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, uh, exactly. And then we can do uh, like this. We can take like uh, two and two and one group will be uh, three to reflect upon what do you recognize in the red and yellow in yourself? Uh, do you recognize anything? Do you think that I'm, I'm a lot of red uh, or, or less red, a lot of yellow or less uh, yellow? And what do you find difficult when meeting red and yellow <coughs> people? We will start with the red and yellow, and then we will go over to uh, blue and green. So we take, uh, Joanna, mm -hmm. you're so good at uh, yes. many things, but right. also like to be uh, some tailor, like uh, <laughs> yeah. time management. That's right. Uh, we will take, uh, I think that we will take four, four minutes. Okay. Uh, for, per person? Uh, no, person. Uh, we can take um, two, minutes. Uh, two minutes per, okay. per person. Right. Yes. So find a friend, uh, two and two, and one group of three. Mm -hmm. Going to say <laughs> that it is an idiot because you can't read my thought because I always look <laughs> like I think that things are, you know, very good. You can see within areas of service, uh, it's a lot of green because you have to be patient. You have to be patient uh, with people, and you're really, you know, up to really creating. Uh, good uh, connections uh, with people, and you don't seek uh, you don't seek conflict. If you want a green to share what's not good, uh, you need not to ask in a straightforward what's not good with this. You maybe you need to use an expression like, "Can you help me improve who this how this could be even better?" Uh, if you look at your former supplier, if you could wish for something more of that supplier, what would it then be? If you look at your former employee, what was the best thing with him or her? But if you would wish for something more, what could that be? You know, you don't ask like straightforward question uh, in, that, in that way. Um, and it's hard when you look at the green people are, you know, the best listeners ever. If you meet a green per uh, person, especially when if you are yellow, you sometimes find yourself that reflecting on, I didn't know that I was this interesting. <laughs> I, I, I must be the most interesting person in the world because this person seems like she wants to listen at me for many, many hours. And that's yeah, like the superpower of the green. And often they become informal leaders because it feels like here sits a person whose only job is to sit there and listen to what I have to say. One of my colleagues at uh, Profis, now again, her name was uh, Anna, another Anna. And when I came to the office one morning, Anna was sitting there uh, and it felt like she'd been sitting, you know, there the whole night. Is, 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 is she living at the office? And Anna was like, she was, for me, when I start the morning, I try, you know, to make my hair like straight. And then it's like this. <laughs> I end up in the, I usually like, like you, Frida, do, do like this. But Anna was like, her, her hair was like, you know, perfect. And the skin was perfect, and the makeup was perfect, the clothes were perfect. And she was, you know, working with her computer like this, you know, very soft. You know, when, when, when I'm, you know, a little bit stressed, it's like, 
-hmm. You sit like this, but Anna was working like very soft. Mm -hmm. And I ran into the office this morning and I said, good morning, Anna. How are you? Things are terrible. Things are really, you know, it's uh, so stressful. And she had this group of uh, 25 consultants that we rented out to uh, different companies. And, you know, very this calm voice. And I said to Anna, is, is, is it so terrible? <laughs> yes, I have uh, five on uh, sick leave. I have no solution to the problem whatsoever right now. <laughs> and what happens when a person sit and look like they are so calm and nothing is a problem? Mm -hmm. Then, you know, the boss who was you know, working like this, she, she sees this resource. You can't have a lot to do when you look like you are so calm and not stressed at all. So the boss comes with more work to <laughs> Anna. And Anna said, okay. I will do this later this evening. And I called Anna, I don't know the word in English, but it's, uh, you know, Anna Valium, because yeah, she was Valium, Valium because she was so cool. Uh, and often with, with greens, it can be hard mm -hmm. to see what's on the inside, what mm -hmm. you see on the outside. And if you have, you know, this active red and yellow, that is often, you know, they will speak out, they will get their voice heard. And with green, you need to ask. Questions mm. and don't always think that everything is like uh, good as it uh, as it looks. And uh, if we um, and if you have a, a, a group of greens uh, and you as a lecturer, you often have this uh, both that they at, at they look at you as uh, a lecturer. Maybe someone comes up when it's you know five minutes break and say. I think you are very good <laughs> just you know to give uh, to give uh, support and often uh, if you think about someone maybe at the first job that you has uh, attended some person that has sort of meant a lot for you to make you feel really welcome and that you felt seen probably that is you know this green person that really cares for you green is also you know this color that is quite common that it develops during uh, um, during the, the, the years and sometimes you know it's, it's not if it's good or bad it's due to what we are into a situation what do we need more or less um, uh, of and if you have group work and you have a lot of uh, a group with greens and you go into this room and you look into the room it's so calm it's so soft mm -hmm. and and what the reaction often is when it's just green in the group they look at each other and think like 10 minutes this is not enough time mm -hmm. because we also want you know to connect to each uh, other and think about this Mozart Kugel it's uh, why it takes time it's also because you want to feel is this a person that I want you know to work more with is this going to be long term mm -hmm. Yes. And it's kind of like if you ask a red a question, I think a red would pride themselves on how quickly they can answer and the wit and like, whereas a green, you think like, did they actually hear what I asked? Because yes. it'll be cl quiet first, right? Yes. Before they, they think about what they're going to say. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Yes. And even more if we're looking at the blue, but that's also yeah. with with the, um, with the green mm -hmm. and also with the green it can also be if you look like the, the energy uh, of it is also how you respond to the pace of your surrounding mm -hmm. uh, that if you have like a lot of green it's calm and composed mm -hmm. and if you have a bit of green uh, it's more uh, active mm -hmm. and that is also when you open the door to, to your job what do you need to change maybe you need to be more active uh, at work and of course like maybe you think that all everyone should be active at work <laughs> but you can be active in in uh, different in different ways uh, we, if you go down in green it's often that you you put less uh, time into relationships uh, a relationship that sounds not good maybe we shouldn't change your relationship at work <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, what how much time you spend with other people and maybe how much patient uh, you are uh, and maybe you go to work and you are less patient that than what you usually uh, feel comfortable uh, with 
um, yes. And now we have, you know, the last uh, color, the, the blue. Uh, and blue, uh, it says adaption, but actually, it's, I think it's compliance, but you can say adaption or compliance. Mm -hmm. Adaptable, mm -hmm. careful, systematic, just, as in like, you know, fair, mm -hmm. uh, meticulous, and logical. Mm. And if the body language, if you have you know, like the red, distinctive, you know, this, uh, this, uh, um, um, their eyes like this, and uh, the yellow, so a little bit uh, like this, and the, uh, the green, like, you know, more, more, more calm. Then you have blue, it's like mm, it's not so much body language at all. As I told you, I worked with PVC for uh, many years. And then I could have like 25 people in the room looking at me like this. For two days. Mm -hmm. Having a great time. I, yes, I had, exactly. I had in two days and then I got, you know, this uh, recording. Feedback. Feedback, yeah, yes. Yeah. Written feedback in detail. I have never been, you know, so detailed. Mm -hmm. And then it said, it was a very, very inspiring, uh, you know, lecture for two days. Inspiring, I didn't get the feedback. Uh, but you know, that is, for a blue person, is that you, of course, when you listen, then you can't do like this at the same time, because then you don't hear everything that is said. So it's also, you know, very, very common misunderstanding is that if it's not that much body language, then you can't think that something is interesting. So it's like the opposite around with the blues. Then you listen thoroughly uh, instead. And also, um, with, if, if we take uh, how, how you speak. For blue, it's quite common that they sit and think. Should I say this or should I not say this? Everything that is should be said is already said. So uh, it's nothing more for me to add. So the conclusion for a blue can sometimes be that I should not speak at all. That is a very unusual uh, conclusion for yellow because there is always something to add uh, quite often if we look upon what can be. Um, and blue often asks how, okay, when, and we have who. And green often ask why, because they don't want to change things just to change it. Because if they change it, you need to change it for a long time, more said Kogan. And blue often ends up with the ones, you know, doing the change. So they, they sort of ask, okay, how? How are we going to do that? If you're a yellow person and you don't think so much about uh, how, it's easier to have, you know, very wild ideas because you don't need to think about the how. So that's why they look a little bit skeptical. My, I'm quite yellow, my best uh, guy friend uh, is like, you know, Smurf. He's so blue as the, the, the bluest Smurf. And his name is Michael and he comes from Dalarna in, uh, in Gagnef. And when he, um, calls me and we talk. Um, suddenly it's like, you know, all quiet in the, in the telephone. And I ask, you know, I start shouting at him, Michael, Michael, are you still there? And then he says, you know, in Swedish, in an accent from Dalarna, when did it become <laughs> illegal to do a little bit of thinking? Yes, and that is what, you know, the blue often mm. adds to a discussion. Mm. We need to think first before we step uh, forward. And uh, this is that you can be the sort of uh, anchor at the verkligheten, mm. the anchor in reality, mm -hmm. uh, that you're really good at details, you're really good at structure, mm. and you're really good at finding structure when other people try to find mm. the structure. And the most interesting thing, is that they follow the structure. Mm -hmm. I have had employees that are very blue, and then I asked, her name was Anna Karin, and I asked Anna Karin, Anna Karin, what are you doing? 
and she says, well, I took the three ideas that you had and I started to do them. Then I had forgot that I really had these ideas and she had started to implement them and follow them. So it's also, when we take, if we think about the team, how can you use each other's strength? Mm -hmm. For Blue, this is their super duper power mm -hmm. to find structure mm -hmm. and uh, create structure from, uh, from, uh, from, uh, from chaos. Yeah, and maybe a red would get very impatient mm -hmm. with the blue, like, oh, it's taking so long, you're taking forever. And one of my friends said about my husband, our yes. husband, the yes, the yes, <laughs> but the same said, uh, your husband is the slowest person I know. Yes. So my friends have a very, and sometimes I tell them that I say, if you go any slower, you'll grow moss. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> but he's blue. Yes. So he says no. He's not slow. He's more like a particular systematic. Yeah. And sometimes the fastest way to get to a goal is to be slow and passive and not do things fast. So sometimes you need to sort of see, but as you know, you know, active and passive, depending on the environment, who will take, you know, most space in a group discussion. And here we can work with to help each other in. Uh, who is talking? How can we sort of get the other person to talk, uh, to talk uh, uh, more? And, and how can we, we, we help each other towards the goal? Sometimes yes. Blue is the smartest person in the room that nobody listens to. Exactly. Exactly. And uh, soon, now you will very, very soon have your... Uh, uh, <laughs> exactly, we'll see. And you have like, you have like blue, uh, uh, follow, follows rules and uh, re 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 regulations. And that, that is to be uh, compliant and they are compliant to rules and regulations. And if you just have a little bit, I you know some of you in the group have just a little bit then you're welcome to my club. I usually say the sort of clubs of anarchists. Mm -hmm. uh, then you are re re rebellious and may break rules. And for people with, you know, just a little bit of blue, they don't even, you know, notice that it is like breaking the rules. Mm -hmm. Okay, it says that you're not allowed to drive the car in this road, but it's a very short road. Mm -hmm. So maybe if I just go very fast, <laughs> no one will notice. <laughs> So, so it's like how you perceive uh, things and that is also if you are a group and going to work together if you need someone who will start something without any rules you don't know uh, what the goal is you know it's very not you know it's not so structured mm -hmm. look for a person with a low on blue because they will see feel you know very free and for them that will be a clear picture so that depends how you can work together in that uh, in that way. And uh, now I think that we you will go do a self assessment, and maybe you can introduce Absolutely. a self assessment. Yes, and we do we do we do, we do like this. Oh, it's, ah. sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, there we yes. go. So here's a self assessment. You're gonna guess your profile. Create a self uh, self assessment curve. So Max three values should end up above or below the center line. I wonder if I should, you know what, let's hand these out so they can see what the center line, yes. what it means, okay? Can you yes. 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 pass it around? Uh, so you're gonna have, uh, you're gonna self-assess, and then feel out, like, like feel out which description of each color suits you best on the following two pages. And then put the X above the center line if the descriptions of a lot fits you best. Or put the X below the center line if the descriptions of a little fits you best. And then draw a line between your X's to create a curve. Uh, is that confusing enough? No. Does that <laughs> make sense right. for everybody? Yeah. And yeah. we can show, like grandma, uh, you have done your profile. Yes. And you say, what's the... Uh, do you remember your number theory? Uh, roughly. Roughly. I think, um, oh, it's easy to much. But let's say um, red was, you remember, you have the best yes. memory. Like something 79, like 80, yes. something like that, 79, 80. Mm -hmm. 
And this is like yeah. Yeah. Is this natural? Natural. 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 Yes, it's a natural. Okay, great. The natural <coughs> is. Uh, now you think about think about your natural uh, profile mm -hmm. first, because yeah. that's often <coughs> easier when you go to yourself and think what's your you know natural profile. Yeah. You will get in your profile when you get it your adaptive profile. But now when you fill in the form, think about your natural profile. Mm -hmm. What comes natural for yeah. you? So I'll tell you right now. So seventy five red. This is my natural. Seventy five red. 89 yellow, 50 green, mm -hmm. and 18 blue. <laughs> and now, if I would have my PVC group, they would say, what, where, where, where's the scale? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so that right. is uh, Jana, if, if she does her mm. profile. And then do we do the adapted or not? Uh, we just do like this uh, natural one. Okay, so you're uh, only doing the natural mm -hmm. one, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> the surfaces. <laughs> 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 And, and sorry, we, we, we didn't tell you, unlike oh, in a, the in next... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Your highlighter on. Oh, yeah. 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 And we can also do that when you have... Uh, and now I will give you your profile when you have done your self-assessment. Uh, and Richard is not here. So we're not sharing this one as self-assessment. No, you don't. You, you, we, we. <laughs> Frida, here you go. And now we'll see. Uh, you, are you finished already? Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. And then you can see, I think it's on page, uh, you can see uh, your, your sort of profile on four and five. Mm -hmm. And you also have like on the last page. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, th 30, you can see uh, both basic and adopted. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, there it is. And um, think about how sorry. this one, that doesn't come up naturally to you. Yeah. You have to use that. Yeah, that's it. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. <laughs> what did I see? The, um, um, sorry. Yep, yeah. there you go. Uh, it's, um, yeah, I'm puzzled. Yeah, but it actually, um, it says yours, yours stay, uh, pretty much stays the same. Like for these two, you know? No, there was some of that. So the beauty that the beauty of the end of it. Is it? But no, you should say that it's not. I mean, this one should. I mean, that I didn't. Have I ever seen it? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And this can also be if you, you know, go into a new role, <coughs> what will then happen? It's quite often, which is very common, that if you go into a new role, and I know you, Corinne, mm -hmm. told about that, it's quite common when you go into a new role, you, 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 you can have a feel, sort of feeling that you need to be a lot of everything. Mm -hmm. You need to learn a lot and you, 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 you feel that it can be quite stressful. And it's often very good to, to sort of go back and look at your sort of basic behavior and see what's your super strength and really see where can you sort of gather like the strength from. Mm -hmm. Is it maybe possible to get like, you know, support or help or fr from, from other people around? and sort of ground yourself in the super strength because the feeling can be, I need to be a little bit of everything. And that can be when uh, the colors are uh, quite high and quite high is over 50%. So if you have like the, 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 the colors over 50% in the adapted, it's often a sign that you have a feeling that you need to be mm, like a lot mm -hmm. uh, at work. So that can be a thing to... That you need to be what at work? Uh, if you have like all your colors yeah. over 50%, yeah. it can be, I need to be both dominant, I need to be both, you know, influential, and I have a lot of stability and a lot of compliance. It's, it's, uh, it's quite, quite tough to be all of it. Uh, Often, you know, the, um, the colors that is like over 50%, that is what we usually see uh, in other people. It's easier to see the behaviors. Then you have the, the behaviors that are, you know, low. It's what you notice when you meet a person is often the high uh, sort of numbers. And Often now, when you see your profile, uh, it's a lot of questions, and maybe you think that this is right, this is uh, not not right. Mm -hmm. So, m so maybe we we can we are going to do like this. We're going to look at you as a group, uh, as a team function. Uh, so, uh, the game plan for the Matty. and now, uh, <laughs> and you're going to get it here as well. Uh, and first, I'm just going to ask you, due to GDPR, Sida, uh -huh. uh, I'm just going to ask you all. And uh, now I have dotted uh, you all into this circle that, where we can see uh, your basic behavior. And isn't this quite, is it okay that I share this profile with you all? Maybe yes. this is a strange thing to ask in group because then maybe it's hard to say no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just talked about how we should deal with this yeah. and then I do exactly the other way around. So I should go to a workshop about this. Uh, I can hear. Um, maybe you can pass it uh, over. Mm -hmm. uh, or... And here, if you see, it's quite interesting because what we see is that. Um, well, I'm going to ask you, because you are a, a group of analytical and very smart uh, people uh, like uh, Liv. What do you think when you see this, mm. you, you see the spread? Because you all are much better with numbers than I will ever be. What do you see? Uh, what's like sort of a conclusion? What well, do you think? Well, um, myself and Leonardo, we have kind of discussed our personalities yes. before. And yes. we are yeah, we are quite close there. I, guess. Mm. I was not surprised. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, and also you, Stefan, we expected to see you somewhere close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. in the goal oriented yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think we are quite in the middle anyway, mm -hmm. all of us. Mm -hmm. That was interesting. And this, we're, we're going to come back to it, but we, but we will look. This is, you know, the basic behavior. And look now, what will happen, you know. This is basic. This is work. Do you see? Mm -hmm. It's quite interesting. You see? Because we talked about what happens when we open the door. Mm. Uh, and, and if you find your, your, your own dot here, and you look at your dot, and then we will see so how it changed. So the first one was what? Basic. 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 Yeah. So this is basic. And as you see, because this is quite interesting, 
you have a lot of red in this group. Mm. Mm. Um, a lot of red and, and, and quite a lot of blue um, mm. as well. But you have quite a lot of red uh, in the group. And it's quite interesting to do this sort of group analysis. And you see that a lot of you get like more, you know, up to this structure and goal oriented, a little bit less of uh, maybe the team oriented, uh, which is more seen uh, like in uh, the profile at the basic profile. Mm. And of course, some of you said in the beginning, you know, it's the work, you go to job, you do your work. Mm. Uh, and a lot of you have like more <laughs> of the green in your uh, basic profile. Mm. And sometimes you, you sort of compromise with the green because it's a lot to do <laughs> at work. And you have a lot of things to do. Uh, and that can be quite interesting to see when you work together because sometimes you need to lower some of the color and you have, have to raise some depending on are we going to work together? I'm going to work on my own. Um, what can I sort of use more uh, in, my, uh, in my profile? But maybe also, if you don't know each other as well yet, you might just go, this will show you that naturally you're all friendlier than you seem to be at work. We also need to be the tougher person. That's right. Yeah. We, we, we yeah. can't be the touchy feely all the time. We can't know you are the number. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And five, what is your first step to improve communication? And this you will do in in pair share, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, How much time do we get? But you should it be a person. Yeah, but the, the person you're thinking else. of, who is that? Yeah. Someone uh, that I am. <laughs> you can yeah. think about if you have in your organization, yeah. and maybe you have a person that you fe really feel that this uh, this person I would like to improve uh, my, communi my communication uh, with. Mm -hmm. So you can pick a person from the org organization or think about the person. If you don't want to mention the person, you don't need to do that. It's more like for uh, um, the exercise is more to, to get, you know, in the yeah. mood of mm -hmm. reflecting on mm -hmm. what can I do in a different way mm -hmm. to improve the communication. Because it's always harder to change other. Mm -hmm. It's easier to change ourselves, mm -hmm. how we uh, behave in a meeting and of course when it's, it's very good when we can ask for like um, I would really appreciate in the next meeting if you gave me a little bit of more space and if I come with an idea I really would appreciate if you would look, look a little bit more enthusiastic when I came mm -hmm. with it you know we can give each other feedback mm -hmm. uh, but that's like the next state First, it's better to start off with ourselves. What can we do in another way? What do we think other people need from us uh, in the communication? Hmm? Two minutes each? Uh, I, think, uh, I think five minutes each Ooh. is good for this. Oh uh, okay. Yes. All right. All right. I'm timing. And yes. And uh, turn to your partner and I'll do it with you. So you have two and two, right? Yeah. Yeah, great. And go ahead. Yes. Ja, men ni kan ju tänka om ni känner det så här väldigt nu verkar ni väldigt trygga med varandra. Man kan ju också om man vill spetsa till det så kan man ju också tänka så här att man kan också tänka liksom om man tänker i ett samarbete, om ni känner varandra, vad är det man kan stärka och vad man kan dämpa? Känner man varandra liksom bra och man känner sig trygg i det, då kan man gå direkt på en sån öv. Det ska vi också se i det, i det hela liksom. Det kan man ju tänka på liksom. Ibland kan man ju känna att jag brukar ta mig själv och han mycket. Men det är ju bästa kille. De är så jätteolika. Ja, jag får tala henne. Ja, liksom jag har haft det. Liksom jag tycker. Ja, och, och, och vi är ju jätteolika och vi älskar det. Alltså det är verkligen så här, vi kompisar i hur många år som helst. Eh, men jag vet ju också hur jag ska bete mig för att äta gallefeber på honom. Och han vet ju hur han kan göra för att jag ska tycka att det här. Men vi hittar ett sätt som gör att det blir väldigt bra. Men när vi blir stressade, det är då det oftast kan bli så här att man överavvänder. Det kanske ni aldrig har varit med om. Ja, ja. What really your superpowers and how you can use them in the best way? But then we also have like, you know, the opposite of the coin. What happens when we sort of use our superpowers uh, too much? If we sort of look at them in what's like when we are, you know, uh, the best version of ourselves. I think that's a nice expression. How mm -hmm. are we when we are the best mm -hmm. version of ourselves? Red, uh, maybe you can open. Sure, and uh, powerful, energetic. Innovative, targeted, and strong-willed. And then we have our blue, mm -hmm. yes. fact finder, knowledgeable, systematic, diplomatic, and reflective. And we get our greens, encouraging, cooperative, good listener, quiet, loyal. And our yellow are happy with life, confident, <laughs> generous, inspiring, and open. But then we also have, you know, the opposite of the coin. How can yellow people be when they are just too much? Katarina, 
if they you know they, they overuse their their color and they are just too much of the yellow how can you perceive that Katarina, when they are just too much they're not living in reality no <laughs> no, no no in another universe I think. <laughs> exactly what more what more can it be when 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 you 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 with yellow in your profile when you feel that you are too much of your yellow side frida what can it be yellow people that are too much they're all over the place they're all over the place exactly yeah. exactly mm -hmm. no more air in the room no. because they are taking it all yes. <laughs> what do you do about that <laughs> <laughs> That's another course. <laughs> <in our way. laughs> and what about if we have like, you know, yellow, because we have, you know, the biggest difference is between yellow and blue. A very, you know, common uh, entrepreneur profile is when you're both yellow and blue. You're both creative and you also have the uh, ability to also, you know, uh, make things uh, um, concrete. Con con concrete. 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 Yes. Um, but they also, you know, very far away from each other. Um, blue. Uh, if blue, uh, you know, overuse their, their blue power, how are blue when they get too blue? Christiane, if, if, if blue are too much blue, how can they? <laughs> too much blue. Yes, and if someone, you know, if you can, if someone uh, would be irritated about you know the blue color, if if you act blue, um, how can it feel for a person that's maybe not that blue? And if you go very much into the the factors with the blue, how can it be perceived? When you are like very fact oriented, of course you don't understand too much emotion on no. other things mm. because you are more concentrated yes. on the mm. real world. Mm. Mm. Yes, in the in the in the in the real world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 What more if you look upon uh, blue curry? If you think about blue, um, if they They're are too much, uh, if, if they are too much, how, how can it be perceived? Like the negative, uh, because everything has, you know, mm. but when, when you are, we are too much of our strength, when we overuse them, and that is what often what happens when we get stressed. Mm. Then we go back to mm. what we are safe with and we become more. Mm. And that's when it comes to reflection. Sometimes we need to look upon the sun from the outside and see, should I do more of this or less? But when we get stressed, it's very used, common that we go to where we are safe. Mm. So if you're too blue, yes. Mm. Then maybe you're. Uh, then I might perceive that person yes. as a little bit um, complicated yes. and mm. slowing things down. Mm. Mm. So. Mm. Like a sort of a, you, you try to drive yeah, fast too much and into then the details. Mm, mm. Exactly. Mm. Good. And when we look at like red people, when they overuse their power, how can they be Leonardo? Red people being too much red. Okay, let's analyze Juan here. Um, no, but <laughs> <laughs> they are quite driven. Yes. Uh, yes. Maybe not that uh, not that listening into yes, others. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. And mm. they force through yes. mm. the decision. Mm. Just like clatten i mattan. Yes. Liv, what, what do you think when, when red become too much of the red? No, but I think uh, they just drive forward and don't mm. listen to other people. Mm. Exactly. And then they drive over. Mm. But, but didn't you have an article like a month ago or something mm. where they said they, they connected these personalities to the type of companies? Mm. Mm. And I think they said that uh, acquisitive yes. companies mm. in, in transformation mode, yes. they, were, they were much more red. Yes. Mm. And also it can be because that is like the behavior that you for that face in the mm. company need to show more of mm. but on the other hand it can be in a situation where you need to show it 
But maybe if you're building a team, maybe you need yeah, to yeah, get okay. other, you know, behavior, mm -hmm. take more rooms. It's always mm -hmm. interesting to see. I know your husband has worked with Klarna for mm -hmm. a long time, and yeah. I worked with Klarna also for yeah. a long time. Yeah. And I remember when I met a lot of people from Klarna, they, first of all, I never felt so old in my whole life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that was 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. I was like 42, and all of them were like 25. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and there were a lot, mm -hmm. a lot, a lot of young, very, a lot of people with a lot of red mm. uh, and then they started to 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 uh, to get people with mm. like more like more blue and green mm. to make like you know team and more like a mature uh, company and stabilize stabilize uh, structures, yeah. also so it can be different phases as well and also as we talked how we can use this what do we need to show more of because you you aren't your aunt, your color, mm -hmm. it's how you use it mm -hmm. and how you adapt. And uh, finally, if you are too much green, how does it, uh, how can a too green uh, person uh, be when it's uh, overused its green power? Stefan, what do you think? If, if green, if, if, if you're too much green? But it is, uh, you know, um, theirs, because they, tend to be quiet and a mm. little bit in the background. Mm -hmm. they, uh, they sell themselves under value, so you, you can often find, uh, you know, very, very good people in that, uh, mm. but uh, they don't really uh, let it come out uh, yeah. all the time. So I think mm. you need to be very encouraging uh, mm. and, and you also push these people a little bit to mm. take a step forward. And, mm. and, and, uh, I think it can be uh, have a very, very uh, strong contribution to a group uh, mm. yes. if we mm. can uh, make the green people uh, take a little bit more room uh, yeah. and, and feel comfortable with mm. it. So, so, uh, mm. so I think, uh, yeah, it's... Um, mm. Good. And also when green sort of use, we should look at this a, a little bit. What can it be? Because mm. when we sort of overuse, and this is how we can be perceived mm -hmm. by people who has like less uh, of the color than we have mm -hmm. and you see assertive uh, dominant you can uh, yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> patient ah. governing and then in that case like just like over governing uh, insensitive and the bl uh, blue and maybe we can use the green because that's the one that oh, is, okay. you know Vers mm -hmm. versus yeah how you can be perceived if you're too green passive brooding sour hopeless conflict averse and stubborn mm -hmm. and then you have the blue pedantic mm. uh, uh i think uh cut short like kind of cold and yeah mm. indecisive uh suspicious Cool and restrained, <coughs> and then and opposite the the yellow that the blue might see then as unrealistic, mm -hmm. unrestrained, ego tripped, unserious, talkative, and uh, without lack of judgment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, if we look about what can be like typical expression, uh, in red, I'm, I'm totally surrounded by idiots. That's that like, and, 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 and the yellow, don't you understand how good this is, this idea? And it just feels so right. And uh, dear me, how are you, the greens, that really want you know, to, to get all the team with you? Uh, and we actually agree on this. Uh, and and uh, you know the blue blue green has every everyone understand uh, understood what to do. And don't blame me if it goes wrong because I have already pointed out <coughs> what all the things that can uh, go wrong. Mm -hmm. And some same issue all all and over uh, again. Mm -hmm. What uh, what can be? Uh, and also we have this uh, if we also see what we can look upon the super strength in the group and if we look upon your group it's quite interesting because you have you know dots in the whole in the whole area it's quite interesting it's i would say i, I, I do this uh, on you know uh, the swedish company skanska mm -hmm. uh, on their group with controllers i think there were like 35 uh, of them and that was very interesting because it was uh, it was um, almost all of them were smurf blue, super blue. 
uh, it was no spread at all. And it's quite interesting because you need all of the colors, of course, but to work together in a team, as you said, Leonardo, it's, it's so good if you have like the different colors, but you need also to help each other to be like the best version yeah. of yourself. Yeah. And always think about that, you know, it's often, if you think when you meet people, that it's always that people have, if you have that uh, mindset, a good uh, intention behind their behavior. Mm. When the red, uh, you know, ask and seem to be very demanding, mm. of course, it's because they want to deliver. Mm. And when the yellow ask, uh, uh, who, who is going to uh, do this, how, how we, you know, made this to involve everyone and talks a lot about it. It's because they want, you know, to get the enthusiasm out. They want to share their ideas. And when the green, you know, really, you know, you can feel that it slows down, it's because they want to get everyone on the boat so that when we go, we will go together. And the blue, they are not, you know, making things go slow. They really want things, you know, so that we can do it properly. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when we get irritated, we are stressed, we, we, we see each other's behaviors and we think that they are doing this just to be, you know, uh, make life uh, hard to me. <laughs> and that's interesting when we work as together uh, as a group. Mm -hmm. So in your group, you have like all of the strengths. Mm -hmm. And now I see that the time is 5.30. Uh, I, I no, 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 no. Yes. Yes. And I think now, uh, just to wrap it all uh, up, we have had three and a half uh, quite intense uh, hours together. Uh, and I, me and Joanna really hope that you have... have uh, uh, had like a good ground to continue to develop together. It's often good to have like sort of ground uh, the theoretically so that you can use this uh, disc as a tool. And, and I hope really that you will uh, take this with you to make each other the good version uh, of yourself in the team and also how you can help each other. So uh, just very quick is it okay just to take a few words what you uh, can take out from this workshop is it okay just to take it quickly and i know by looking at your profile i will start off with leonardo i think that you can take it just like this yeah yes but, but do you want to do I was talking to Liv, I mean, yeah. you think we, when we discuss our yes. different members, we have been giving them colors. Um, yes, yes. And we could see them, and, and then I just reflect, I think, that, that, I, that it's, it's, um, it's fun to see how yes. it works. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I, I mean, you know that, Frida, I said I would, I would like to do this on my team because yes. it helps people to understand uh, a bit. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, to it, so I, I take uh, uh, this with me. I always find them interesting, yes. and, and I just had a spontaneous reaction that no one in the group is rational. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's, it's great to, this this spread. Mm. Actually, mm. It, it's a strength. I would say yeah. if you can mm. use it in the right way. Mm. Mm. Uh, yeah. Well, mm. Thank you very much, Liv. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Yeah. And how can you use it? No, but uh, well, as we have discussed before, some some members of the team they are maybe a bit more blue. So yes, good. We have realized that before, but <laughs> not so clear. <laughs> That's good. Thank you, uh, Katarina. Liv, you say some people are blue and you sound like that's a bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm so much. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm still a Yes. I, I become, I become, I, I can actually pop yeah. up my red side. Yeah. But I'm still a smurf. The thing ah. person I'm thinking of is very, very, very blue. <laughs> yes. And often, you know, as I told you with my friend, it's often good to ask a person with who has more of that color. If you listen to this, how would you handle it? Because then we have the, 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 the answer in the team. We often we just have the answer, just a phone call away. You don't need to like 
engage now i'm you know not selling our our, our uh, i'm saying that you can use uh, you can use each other but often you can ask the person in the group that has more of the color mm -hmm. and you will get the answer so it's mm -hmm. so good to take help each other mm -hmm. And if you have a, a, a very blue smurf, just use the smurf yeah. <laughs> as much hey. as possible. <laughs> what did you say? The smartest person in the world? <laughs> 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 we'll just an example. <laughs> we have <a> smart <laughs> smurf. Uh, yeah, and exception. Katarina, how, <laughs> how can you use this? For your I think it's always good to, I mean, even though, I mean, you always start with yourself. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, if, if you have no other reference, I mm. think that's a good start, mm. starting point. But you also have to be humble to realize that sometimes the reason you are so different than other people is because we are all different. Mm. But there's no right and wrong. You mm. just have to find a common ground. Mm. Yeah. Exactly. And exactly. if that means I have to sort of um, accommodate more, I guess that's oh, what I have to do. Mm. I mm. want to be first thing. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much, Katrina. Uh, yeah, Christiana. it's the same. I'm in the same room oh. as, as Katarina. So I think uh, it's uh, yeah for us it's probably sometimes difficult to live with us, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think it comes as well with your age and your experience mm. that you have in your life that you can adapt in different situations mm. much faster than you might when you are twenty because mm. you know out of experience. Mm how to behave in certain meetings mm. or situations mm. that help you to overcome perhaps your blue part. Mm. Yes. So mm. that's, I think, it's... Uh, mm. Mm. Thank you very much. Stefan? Yeah, but I think uh, we have hopefully got a, a common language on understanding each other, which mm. maybe can help keep down the frustration sometimes because yeah. uh, Oh yeah, okay, yeah, she's so blue that mm. I understand it's, uh, yes. or, 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 or something else, I mean that, uh, and then you can also work a little bit, uh, you know, with your extreme sides mm. and, exactly. and, you know, maybe mm. cut it down a little bit mm. uh, to mm. uh, function mm. in, mm. Uh, in a group a little bit better, mm. and, 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 uh, so uh, I think we should, uh, we should use, and then another reflection I have is that some some of you are very close in the uh, uh, what would you call it the um, uh, basic uh, in the adapted and in the uh, in the more natural uh, and mm -hmm. some of us has a much bigger spread. So mm -hmm. I yes, guess when yes. you have a bigger spread, you're a little bit more uh, weird. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, Stefan. I've been inside a four thousand person company. And they, op they, op they posted their profile on their yeah. desk, which is so smart, because in times yeah. of stress, yeah. like yeah. you forget, right? It's like, oh, yeah. that's right, they're yeah. that. Like, I shouldn't go to them for that. I need to go to this person. Yeah. Exactly. So, uh, you nice. know, it, it's a useful tool. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Karin. No, but I, I agree. I mean, if it's, um, uh, it can help, mm -hmm. I mean, in, in your corporation or yes. whatever mm. to know a little bit more about the mm. persons mm. and maybe um, also know uh, get a little bit more self-awareness of yes. what mm. can be improved or, or mm. maybe not improved but Adapt. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Mm. And as a leader it's often interesting just to ask your employee uh, what what do you need more of me in my leadership to be the best version of yourself? Mm. Just in your in your sort of task and job, and also to sort of you know uh, more bra feel 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 good because mm. that can be different different parts. Mm. Um, it's quite a good question to ask. What what do you need of me? Except from a you know a mm. pay raise <laughs> mm. Mm. as a as a leader, because different people will say will say different things. People that we are quite alike, we don't need to adjust so much. Mm. So it's more interesting to see what do you need of me. Mm. Um, yeah, but, yeah. For example, like if I have someone in my team mm -hmm. who's very very blue, yes, maybe they perceive me as or they need me to be more um, structured, exactly. otherwise they mm -hmm. will find me 
Yes. Uh, or they will be, I mean, like we were talking about earlier today, mm. that some people, um, the feedback mm -hmm. that you receive from people yeah. quitting, mm. that they see that we are, um, that they don't know exactly what they are supposed to do, or it's um, mm. not structured. Mm. So maybe, yeah. Mm. I, mean, I mean, we are a finance uh, mm. function, so maybe. Mm. Yeah, there is a, not, it's not so strange. Not so much that, uh, creativity. <laughs> no, no. And you know that a lot of people are. Mm. Do, uh, mm. And you know it's so interesting because it doesn't matter if you don't need structure. If you mm. if your leader for a person needs structure, mm. and you're going to be a good leader for that person, we need to sort of listen to that person. Mm. Yeah. But maybe that person act actually <laughs> can create the structure and will be Absolutely. better but often the blue person will not start doing it if it's not sanctioned mm -hmm. i'm not the one so you maybe you need exactly. to sort of talk about it mm -hmm. um, so who is the best person in the room to sort of you know solve a problem mm -hmm. doesn't always have to be the leader mm -hmm. but you have to address it mm -hmm. frida what do you uh, take i mean i think you are a new group together because mm -hmm. you just came and it, it's a new group so this would be like a fast track to getting to know each other mm -hmm. uh, so i think it's it's a privilege to have done this mm -hmm. uh, so we can easier talk about okay i'm like this and, and how can i be my best uh, at work mm -hmm. um, so i think that's the, mm -hmm. the really good thing mm -hmm. positive Good, and um, I'm sorry that we have used 10 more minutes uh, from, the, from the agenda. Uh, and we will send you so that we will share, so you get the, uh, your profile, so we'll, we will send it to you, so you, you have it. And if you have like any other in, you know, questions, we will also send a presentation with our, our uh, names on it. So if you have any other questions, you are welcome to, to uh, send an email or give us a call. Mm -hmm. and Thanks a lot for having you this uh, afternoon. Oh, thank, thank you so thank much. You. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Just a question before we leave. It was anyone surprised by the result? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Disappointing or, or happy? <laughs> no, nothing. Specifically, not. I can't say that I, I would be just dis surprised that you and Lee were so close to each other, but that also explains why you probably were. Okay.